Carrie, I don't feel like having a, a heart attack on the internet. <gasps> <laughs> Hey y'all! Ring-a-ling-a-ling! School bell a ring a ling Did I wear this jacket this week? I can't remember. Mm. What's going on, everybody? What's the tea? We're about to get into the things of the things, bitch! Before I bring Carrie D on, I just want to bring... Okay, let me say this. I just want to say, I love all y'all out there. I want to say, and I feel like I haven't said this in a long time, I am a fan of this show. My passion, my, my, my zeal, what initiated me in doing this is just being a super fan of the show, having time on my hands during COVID, and just being confident enough to contact people and be like, hey, do you want to go live with me? And through you guys out there, this has... Oh, y'all buying the tire. What happened? Can y'all hear me? Don't do that to me. Can y'all hear me? Y'all can hear me, right? Y'all can hear me, right? Y'all can hear me? Y'all buying the tire. What the tire did already? Y'all can hear me? The things are the things. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Y'all can hear me? Somebody talk to me. Somebody talk to me. Okay, somebody say I'm fine. All right. Before I bring Carrie D on today, I just want to say, I want to thank all of y'all out there for really making this era of my life what it is. I am so forever freaking grateful. I am so grateful. I saw a comment the other day, the other day, excuse me, on my YouTube channel, and it said, oh my God, Oliver, I used to like when you did episodic reviews with the contestants, and that's how you structured your questions. But once I saw that so many people had fell in love with what I was doing. I started pulling fan questions just so you guys can feel a part of what I'm doing here because this would not be as successful as it is without all y'all out there. And I truly freaking mean that. They ain't no pageant answer. I realize, I acknowledge, I bow to all of y'all. None of this would be possible without y'all. So with that being said, I'm always listening, keeping my ear to the street on what y'all want, what y'all don't like, all that other stuff. And something came across my channels the other day, and um, it was a Reddit thing that said that Oliver may be misogynistic. And I was like, me? I'm a woman. Long story short, um, do I think I'm misogynistic? No. However, I can humble myself and say that the comments the people um, brought up that they felt were misogynistic, I agree with you. Um, I come from a different culture. I come from a different world. I have a different vernacular. I have a different way of ex explaining things and describing things and stuff like that. And I understand that sometimes things that I deem appropriate and okay may not be appropriate to y'all. And especially on something like that, um, being misogynistic, that's something that's definitely not a part of my character. I celebrate women. I, hey, I don't think I need to go down there. I just really want to apologize to everybody and anybody who felt offended by that because that was not my intent and I am effectively doing um, doing things to fix that because, yeah, it's okay. I realized it. It's okay. I realized it and I just want to apologize to anybody out, anybody out there that I may have offended or rubbed the wrong way and all those things. I do watch and read and all those other, other things and I just want to let y'all know I'm listening to y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And y'all the bomb. Now, I want to bring on right fast one of... Oh, she went away. Okay, never mind. Well, let's just get into it. Oh, and sorry about the faux interview not streaming at 12. I'm going to fix it. I don't know what happened. YouTube been fucking with me. It was getting on my goddamn nerves. But anyways... We're about to get into the things of the things of the things of the things.
things. I told y'all in the previous chat that I talked to a lot of girls y'all don't know I be talking to. I only let y'all know I'm talking to these girls once we have confirmed a date, time, and a place to meet. I have been talking to Carrie D for a minute now. I love her already. I love her from the show. I fell in love with her even more from just talking to her. And I'm so excited, like the rest of y'all, to talk to her today in real time on the Instagram. Mama doesn't even go live on Instagram. She doesn't do So the fact that she it, just do it, I am grateful. I am excited. I'm about to shut the fuck up so we can get into the things of the things. I didn't do my intro today. I don't even give a damn. <sighs> Without further ado, you guys. I am going to bring Carrie D. English on. I am so nervous right now and excited all at the same time. Ugh, where's my beverage? Ugh. Hi, I am Carrie D.'s assistant. She makes me wear this. So just one moment. I love it already. She's so excited. I love it already. She's so excited. Y'all. Are they ready? ready yet? Oh my gosh. Uh, She's so, okay. Everyone, I, Carrie D. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, don't take off the nose though. Don't take off the nose. <laughs> no, keep the nose on. You hey, know I don't get inspired unless the nose is on. Hi, darlings. How are you? Can we? Oh, it's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. You look fabulous. Oh, stop. I just, I haven't changed since Top Model. I just, you know, I woke up in this. It's my, <laughs> it's my pandemic, Michael Costello. You know, you look so good. Oh, thank you. I just ran from the, I, I was at Neiman's because I have to do some stuff today. So I was getting clothes and I was like, oh my God, I want to be on time. And I was on time today. You're on time. You're on top. It's going to be, it's going to be good. And I got my tea, y'all. I want to know, did it take $10,000 to get you out of bed this morning? Oh, honey, it took me, um, no, it didn't take me $10,000. No, no, no. <laughs> I am a big a big believer that my fans and followers have been so patient with me. So it took me about 10,000 snooze buttons, but I'm here. I'm here and I'm so grateful to see you guys. I've been nervous. I didn't sleep very well last night. Really? Are you, are you serious? I mean, it could have been all the Red Bulls I was having, but no, I was uh, like yeah. excited. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Thank you once again for doing this with me. I am like so excited right now. And I'm just grateful. Everybody's going crazy. Everyone is grateful. We have 400 people Woo! watching us right now. So I mean, I mean, she is not Melrose. Thank you. Um, I mean, like, where do we even start? Look how cute your greenery is. We're both in a green Do you backdrop. like it? I love it. Look, we're all in a forest. Oh, we're all in the forest. We're all in I the forest. I would probably be. Nymphy What's Garden. Saying? We're all in this like like little garden. It's like our secret mm -hmm. garden on live. Secret garden. Yes. Do you know that song? Yes. <laughs> so Carrie, I want to know as we warm this thing up, I want to know what convinced you to do this live with me? Because I'm pretty sure you have been approached many of times to talk about top model. What made you agree to do this one? Well, I appreciated your dedication and having all your followers and my followers ride my ass. I'm like, you know, I'm doing some other stuff and I just get this message, boom, gotta be, you gotta go live, you gotta go live, you gotta go live. I'm like, this is so awesome how dedicated they are and how important it is to them and how hard you work. Like round of applause to bring all of us back together oh, because you. without you being a great host and like, you know, really hustling and pushing and seeing this, and making it happen, you just made me a believer. And it's not that I never not wanted to do it. It's just, it's it's a touchy subject and you have to be careful and you have to go about the right way and watching your previous, you know, interviews, I was like, this is it. And this, I've always wanted to like talk about the show afterwards. That's not something that's like about cover girl or whatever, but it's just, it's nerve wracking, you know? So you're just, you're just a shining star and you're so sweet. So I thought, okay. 
I'll do it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Really, really and truly. And again, I just want to thank the people out there that are watching, the people that have supported me. I think guys, I've been doing this for six months now. I just looked at the calendar. I was like, I've been doing this for six months. But six I just months? want to thank everybody. Six months. Yeah. Oh my God. Six Nine months and we're almost done. Right. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So listen, Carrie D, I just want to yes, start this off by saying that all the questions I pulled are directly from the fans. And guys, I talked to Carrie D before just to give you a little behind the scenes. I said, Carrie D, are there any questions that I should not be asking, that I should not be touching, that I should not be going towards? Miss Carrie D told me, I don't give up. I don't give up, honey. You you can curse if you want to. Just don't say the word that rhymes fuck? with pun. I don't give fuck. up, honey. I said, honey, and I was like, you're so sweet mm -hmm. to ask that. So ask, ask ahead, and I have my um, phone a friend in case questions get too far. <laughs> I can call somebody and get their answer. So bring uh -huh. it. <laughs> so guys, I said all that to say, we, I am going for the gusto today. Woo! I'm going to pull out my phone, and we're about it's to get into the things. Are you ready, Miss Carrie D? Oh, honey, I've been ready to be on top. Since I came out of my mama's bottom. <laughs> my first question to you is, what made you audition for America's Next Top Model? <sighs> what made me audition? Well, I was modeling beforehand, but I have a skin disease that's an autoimmune disease called psoriasis. And it covers 80% of my body. And every big agency I went to kept rejecting me, kept turning me down. I got signed with like, big agencies in Miami and New York. But then when they would see my skin in person, they'd always kick me out. I'd be sent home the next day. And I was getting really, really frustrated. So then I saw a top model and it was hard for me to watch because I'd see all these girls complain and bitch and be mean to each other. I'm like, you have no idea the opportunity you have. And like, they would be doing their challenges and I'd have like this tall janky ass mirror from like TJ Maxx next to the TV. They're like, okay, mm -hmm. do this like challenge. And I'm like, dude, I'm I can do this, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I can do this. Mm -hmm. And I was nervous though, because of my psoriasis, that if I went on national television, they would kick me off because of it, because mm -hmm. I just was only used to rejection at that point. Mm -hmm. And so I was nervous, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get, there was a new medication that was out and it's really expensive. It does, it's not out anymore, but it's $3,000 a month. And you have to have health insurance to have it. I didn't have health insurance. I graduated high school early, my whole, my whole thing, my whole being wanted to be a model performer. That was it. There was no plan B ever. It was just going to take a little bit. And so I became a hospital janitor because everybody at the hospital gets health insurance. Yes, girl. I was a hospital janitor scrubbing up OR rooms and the floors. I wrote the big like thing that waxed the floors. I did that for three months, got a medication to help clear my skin. It does not cure it. And then I tried out for top model. And it was the first mm -hmm. time. I shaved my legs in my whole life. Day <laughs> out. Yep. Well, good thing I'm blonde, but no, seriously, if I would have shaved, I would have, I would have bled badly and it would have grow again. So. So for the people out there who may not know exactly what psoriasis is, you said it's an autoimmune. It's an autoimmune going... systemic disease mm -hmm. that manifests itself on the skin. There's no cure, but it's something that it's been part of my life and I'm so grateful now because now not only am I a model, but I'm a role model for it. So I am, you know, that everything has a way. God has everything. He gives you anything you can't handle. You know, he never gives you something you can't handle. And it turned mm -hmm. out to be like this beautiful blessing in my life because I've spoke all over the world and volunteered all over the world and met so many people who have psoriasis. You never watched the show, but we're like, I wasn't living my life. I wasn't chasing my dreams because of my psoriasis and you inspired me. And I'm like, Okay, if I die tomorrow, at least I added something, you know, besides, mm -hmm. you know, an elephant nose, you know, shoot, like I added something of getting something of value to people's lives. And that makes me. Yes. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, ma'am. Now, I yes. must ask you, was that nose the same nose you had in your photo shoot? That is the seven? nose. Um, that, How did you keep up with that? Anna, please come here. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm still the same girl from when I won. Um, just you gotta work. Okay, so this is the nose here, Hannah. Come, come, model. This is it. But um, in the shoot, they had it upside down. It was supposed to be like this, 
as you can see, the tusks go on the bottom. Mm -hmm. But they had it like this. You know what? I never noticed that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, keep wearing it, honey. Okay, okay. Thank you. I don't know why I make you do this. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> So Karen, yeah, so I still have the nose. That's like one of the only, oh, I have the nose and I have the apology letter that I read um, in, in judging panel that one time. So have these are the A&T Horcruxes. Yeah. You ah! have two of them. I'm a Slytherin, yes. These are the You horcruxes. have two Horcruxes. I have two I think horcruxes. Leslie from Cycle 6 has some Horcruxes. King is, has some Horcruxes. This is that genius. means Tyler's gonna live forever. <laughs> this live is forever. genius, yes. We're gonna live forever. And who is the elder one, Nigel? Me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes! I love it. No, you know what? No, you, you actually know who has the elder one? The elder one? Uh -huh. Miss Come up in here effing with our Wi Fi. Get out. Is she back? I'm back. I'm back. She's back. I'm back. I'm okay, so tell us. So you audition for Top Model. Of yes. course you get a call. Walk us through that entire process of you getting the call, preparing for it, and actually flying out there. Um, okay, so I get the call. Well, at first I send in a videotape, like an actual videotape. I had this like, VHS. Guide, like, like, like on a VHS. And I sent that out. And then... Um, I was working as a photographer as as well, and I had a big shoot, like seven hours the opposite way of the open call, but I'm like, I'm going to this open call even though I sent a tape. So I went to the open call in Minneapolis because I'm from Fargo, North Dakota, and the open call had Jada in it, the girl who cut her hair off and like said she looked like a little boy. She's so, she's so beautiful. She was at that open call as about, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think it was like, like 7,000 people and it's just kind mm -hmm. of dwindling down all day to the top like 150. And then they said, mm -hmm. if we're interested on you, for you to come to the show when there's like 120, like when they first start filming the show, we'll let you know in the next like couple months. Mm -hmm. and so I'm just like going back as a photographer. I no longer do the janitor work because my skin is clear. Um, so I'm just doing photography and I get a call from one of the producers like, you're coming to LA and I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm. This is it, like you know. This is it. This is this is my moment. So then I went to LA, and that's when the auditions started to happen. I got naked on a roof. I still have that picture. I have all my pictures, by the way. Yeah. Are they are oh, they yes. somewhere thank, near? Thank you, Hannah. So this is the original picture. Go off. They Go hand, off. so all these pictures. These they gave them to me at the end of the show. These are the ones they would hand off when they're like, "You're still in the running." Mm -hmm. So I have them. I have all these like little notes on the back from judging. It's really cute. And I took them out. Can you share some with time. us? Huh? Can you share some with us? Yeah, this one doesn't have any notes. And they're, they're probably just like, what did she do to her hair? What was that? What did Carrie, she, what did you was body on the little thing? Oh, shit. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Well, I was, just, I was just grateful because that was my first time posing without psoriasis on me. So it was like really free. So so catch this, Carrie D. So the girls, you know, they, they try to trip me up sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. as, as I have a bunch of love out there, first of all, and I recognize and I appreciate it. But, you know, there are some little chicken nuggets out there that want to try my chicken pussy nuggets. every now and then. Little chicken yeah, nuggets. Little chicken sour. Uh-huh. Sweet. They're McDonald's chicken nuggets. No good for you. Just throw the shit in the garbage and send it immediately. So... So the last time I did a chat, they, um, I guess people have picked up on that I read the, the contestants when I do anything and roll call from Wikipedia. So the last time I did it, someone went through and changed all of them and I didn't notice it until um, in actual real time, right? So oh this God. time I properly planned for it, right? Like I probably planned for it, but I still went to it just to see what they would say. Do you want to see who they said was on Cycle 7? Yes. <laughs> This is funny. You ready? I'm ready, honey. They said they said the first eliminated person was Olivia Twix. <laughs> oh! No, that is hilarious. That is hilarious. 
And I just want everyone to know, if I was ever on America's Next Top Model, every other bitch better beware. Because I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to win. Of course you are, honey. Of course you are. I can be 400 300 pounds. I'm still going to win. Okay, Olivia Twigs, Ginger Souls, Megan Cologne, Michael Myers, DJ Swallows, Perlita Fundeo, Kushi Sushi, Holy fuck, holy, holy, her first name is Holy, her last holy. name is fuck, spelled F-U-K, Latricia okay. Pitts, Latricia Pitts, oh, I guess Latricia Pitts came back and then she left again, Peggy oh. Platter, La Siena Boulevard, yes, and Tori Twats, this is genius, whoever you what? are, that you is... deserve an Oscar, you deserve an Oscar, this is genius, but anyway, <laughs> we're Don't gonna get into the real... We're going to get into the real agency and roll call where, Carrie D, I'm going to name every girl who was cast on your cycle, and you're going to tell me the first thing that comes to your brain. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. And Christian Lord, Evans. I mean, please don't take it personally. I'm just putting mouth. It was so back yeah. then. It was back then. It was mm-hmm. back then, everybody. I'm, I'm even worse now. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I've had a time to I'm... marinate in this personality. <laughs> <laughs> the first person who was eliminated was Christian. Mm. Poor Christian. I liked Christian. I didn't get to know her very well. She had to sleep on a bean bag. I thought she was. Really? Yeah, because there wasn't enough beds. She had to sleep on a bean bag the first night. I thought she was really sweet. We had like a moment there or two. It was so hectic first going in. So my first impression of her is sweet, pretty. Probably really excited for her to get her makeover. I was. I would love to see what they would have done with her hair. What do you think they should have done to her? Add some length, like they did all of us, except for Jada. <laughs> <laughs> she looked good, though. Mm-hmm. What did you think about that first photo shoot? Um, what was our first photo shoot? All you thought were model stereotypes. Oh, um, I don't remember. Um, no, I'm just yes, kidding. I was, I was a dumb blonde. I was a dumb blonde. Uh, I liked it. I thought... I, I was excited for all of them. I, I would love to like do that shoot. Yeah, I was like. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I would love to have done all those, all those ones because all of them are so challenging in their own way. I loved, I loved doing that. I think Michelle's was knocking out of the park. It was oh, a little disturbing. It was so fucking good. The lighting was fantastic. Michael Rosenthal shot those. As a photographer myself, props to him. Those were amazing. I, I want to ask you before we get really deep into it, you having a photographer's background, a photographer's eye, did you mm-hmm. always go into the photo shoots like looking at everything like, hmm, I want to see what lighting they're using or what camera lens is that? And, yeah. and like all that other stuff. No, no, I didn't. Um, whenever, no, I never really, I, I understood it was important to be polite to the photographer, mm-hmm. to have a connection with them in order for them to draw the best out of you and for me to draw the best out of them. Yes. You know, so that's what I knew. So I was mm-hmm. always like shaking their hands, saying, nice to meet you, asking them like, you know, questions, how long you've been shooting, I shoot as well. Just because it's important. It's a chemistry. It's like sex. It's like a good scene on a movie. It, it just has to work. It just has to work. Work. The next person is Miss Megan Morris. Oh, Megan, she was so sweet. She had such a great story, well, not a tragic story about her family. I loved her blonde pixie. Mm-hmm. I would just call her like little pixie, like quiet, like, you know, those lips that talk like this. Really sweet girl. Mm-hmm. Really sweet girl. I didn't get to know her too well, but I liked her. What were your thoughts on the hair show while big hair spinning and turning and death dropping and <laughs> ow, all that other stuff? What do you think about that? That was wild. But the photographer was a female. It was my first time ever working with a female photographer. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, one of my only times. Um, really? It's a male dominated uh, world. That's why, you know, me being back in photography, I'm going against a lot of talented men, but sh- the photographer was really great. And I learned a lot from her because she took her time with me expressing like, you know, what to do with my eyes and how to make, you know, take some of the white out. I, I'm very expressive and that works a lot of times, but for this shot, she wanted, she directed me really well and she was so nurturing. And I love that. I think the, sh- the shoot itself <laughs> with all the hair and the birds and the, and the secrets that were in everybody's, that was so creative and fun. Um, it was wild. I loved, I loved being a redhead too. And that push-up bra was like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
How did you feel about them saying, I remember when you got into panel, they said it was kind of draggish the way you looked in the photo. How, oh, they how, were how just you... saying that. They, they, you know what? I watched it a few times since I won. And that was like mind games. <laughs> like they just had a throat. I mean, and there's nothing wrong looking like a drag queen. Honey, I'm 5'11", and I put on full face, and I'm wearing my full glitter, like, and I'm wearing my six-inch heels. Like, I'm just glamazon. I think that's what drag is. It's just you're just big. You're bigger than ever. You're extra. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. You know, and just as a side note, I just love drag how times on. have changed and how things have elevated. Because back in the day, whether people want to own up to it, people will always use, oh, you're like a drag queen. Or yeah. and it's very common on top model. Like they, yeah. they, they. Why is that it a bad moment. thing? Well, ha Dolly Parton, if she wasn't a woman, she would have been a drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it it can be taken as a bad thing because yeah. when a lot of times when girls receive the critique of you look like a drag queen, it wasn't positive. It wasn't a right. good thing. No, I get it. Like if you, if I put on if I put on blue eyeshadow and like black eyeliner, it gets a little drag, honey. Mm -hmm. Just a little like, bit. Just exaggerated, but I just love how nowadays, like, of course, with RuPaul's Drag Race out and about, oh, to be God, to, to, to say like a drag queen is a is a compliment because some of those those a lot of those girls are fishy, fishy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fishy, mm -hmm. fishy. All for it. I'm all for it. The next person is the ATM icon herself, Miss Monique. Hang on. Skits. Hi, 911. Yeah, this is Carrie Fun. D. We have someone in the house that I think escaped from the psych ward. Oh, you want details? Okay. Well, she's fucking crazy. We're all scared. We don't know how to sleep at night. She wipes her little pussy juice all over people's beds. She, um, yeah, she eats our food. And then if she doesn't eat it, she'll stomp on it and throw it away. Yeah, yeah, and then, oh my gosh, no, 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 I'm, I'm serious, I'm serious, I'm serious, and then, and then, yeah, 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 and then she takes up the phone for, like, 15 hours, yeah, for sure, and then she gets it from her mama, because her mama's like, you're the queen of the damn throne, like, no, that was me, at the end of it, oh, by the way, I, I'm calling, because, yeah, yeah, yes, it is Carrie D, oh, you're a fan, oh, you're so sweet, so, yeah, I just want to let you know that she escaped, and to really make sure that you keep a tight leash on her, okay, because I was really scared. Oh, no, I did get back at her. Yeah, I had everybody set their alarm clocks five minutes apart and hide them in every part of her makeup drawers, under her bed, or in the clothing drawers. And so she was waking up at 4.05 until 5.15 one day, and she was awfully tired and had a really hard time at the shoot. Okay, bye. Call the police! Call the police! Okay. Carrie D. We got to get through this, girl. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to add about Monique? No, that's it. So y'all, I normally don't like to tell all the behind the scenes tea, but I had actually scored and scheduled a Monique interview months ago. Oh, However, um, bring your holy was, water. Well, you know, I, I wanted to nope. talk to her. All the people wanted to talk to her. But what ended up happening, what happened was it was my fault. That's when I was filming that. I was filming two reality TV shows. I was pregnant. My mom was sick. It was just a lot of stuff going on. So my schedule was just always so hectic. So it ended up coming time to it. And like, I had to like back out of it last minute. And I felt so bad. I felt so sorry. I'm going to reach. I'm going to reach. And I apologize to her. Like, so I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm going to reach back out to her. All right. Just don't she tell wants your, to talk. your location but... <laughs> and zip code. Well, maybe she's your not... number unlisted. Well, maybe she's I'm gotten better. Maybe she changed. I don't know. Maybe she's changed. I mean, it looks like she's had a fruitful career since then. So she can't be too bad out here, right? No, honey, she's beautiful. She's a beautiful woman. Doesn't mean that she's not bad shit. Oh, you know. Mm -mm. Do you think she was really sick? Yeah. Yeah, she wore herself out. It took so much energy for her to be so hateful that it made her sick. Let's talk about the rickety runway. Did you see my chat with Eugenia? I still have nightmares about that runner. Okay, who in the right mind, I don't even think I have that picture, but who, my titty fell out, my original titty. Like, who <laughs> in the right mind, mm -hmm, my OG titties, who in OG the right titties. mind, mm -hmm, 
who in the right mind takes a pool, takes a runway on it and like puts some like, what is it like dental floss and then puts all these expensive design. Oh yeah, here's, thank you, Hannah, thank you. Oh, uh, wear the nose, wear the nose, please. Next okay. time you bring me this, wear the nose. Okay, fine. So hard to find good health these days. Okay, <laughs> so, this is me putting on, pulling up my shirt because my OG titty was out, my beginner titty. But it was insane. Eugenia literally, like, she still got a scar on her leg. We always talk about that. Poor baby. I Poor walked baby. like this. Like, like old little old lady across the street with her cart. I'm like, I ain't rushing this. I ain't going. I knew my titty was out. I'm like, I'm not fixing it. If I go like this, I go over. And they wanted that. And they made it very dangerous. And they kept pushing girls to go out. Mr. J was like, go, go, go. And I'm like, you mother. I know exactly what you're doing. Like you are trying to make something happen. And we did it. None of us got in water. Eugenia took it and she still has a scar. That was stupid. That was irresponsible. That was dangerous. And that would no way happen in fashion. No designer would ever let anybody go on a runway that was unstable over water. Okay. Or makeup artist or hair. That was dangerous. And I'm pissed off that that one happened. And I'm sad for Eugenia and my titty. God. And my left titty, original titty. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. If y'all got on headphones, I'm gonna be screaming this whole entire time. So turn me down right now. Turn me down. Um. Okay. The next person okay. eliminated was AJ Stewart, who I thought was gonna go all the way, but the girl said Miss AJ was telling those people sh she didn't have time for their shit, and they got rid of her. AJ. So amazing. I love her. We still talk to this day. And everybody who's texting me, please stop texting me. Um, I love you. I'll talk to you after. <clears throat> Mom. She's the only one. Um, okay. Uh, Maybe it's no need. I loved AJ. She was like my alternative chick. And like, I went through, a, I'm like an alternative girl. The blonde hair is obviously my model look when I was born. With, but <clears throat> in like 2009, 2010, I had a black mohawk. I was going through this rebellious phase. I learned the drums. So I really relate to people who are alternative, like Meg and AJ, who just like don't give a fuck and like are hard, hard women, you know, strong women. I love that. And AJ was one of them. And at the end of the day, as, this, as a competition, you can't tell her nothing, you know? But she's not closed-minded, but she's like, I'm not going to be who, who, I, who, who I'm not in order to do this. I'm like, I'll be whoever you want me to, honey, put a nose on me, put me in the pool, make me die. You know, like, I'll do whatever it takes. But she's like, she stayed true to her character. And she's like, this is just not me, you know? And she's mm -hmm. doing great. She's work. I mean, she's got a great career. She she's lovely. We've talked, <clears throat> I mean, we talked a few times this year. She's just a badass bitch. And she she's just a rock, you know? She's mm -hmm. a, you know? What do you remember and what do you care to share about some of the things that bothered her and that she spoke up about while filming Cycle 7? What bothered her? AJ was very temperamental. I felt like a lot of things bothered her. Like what specifically? Well, I mm. do remember talking to, I can't remember because I've, I've spoken to, and I'll fix it guys, I know I, know I skipped Meg, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna go back. Um, but from talking to some of the Cycle 7 girls, I talked to Anshul, Meg, Eugenia, I think that's it from cycle seven i've heard somewhere in there that meg was like she didn't she didn't enjoy what was going on in terms of how the show was being ran yeah towards towards the cycle as like the, the more serious it got and the more demanding it got she was like fuck it you know and it wasn't because she didn't believe in herself it's just like this isn't the path that i want to continue to do gotcha and that's totally fine and that's totally fine she's blazing her own path she's just like She's a nonconformist. She's her own person. Like I, everybody's their own person, but she's just like, she just got uninspired <clears throat> by also all the. It was a lot going on. Gotcha. And people be, can become uninspired. It's their choice as an artist whether mm -hmm. this is the kind of art they want to do or not. Or not. Ditto. Let's go back one and let's talk about rock and roll. It was not shame. Rock and roll, Miss Meg. I cried when Meg got eliminated. I was so sad. I was like, why are you I doing balled. this to Meg? I bawled my eyes. I bawled my lip liner off. I bawled everything. <laughs> I love her so much. We have been. We I photographed her a few months ago, and we're having dinner date on Saturday. I love her so much. Meg's the best. She's the best. She kind of came unraveled. Um, 
she's such a great and passionate music person and we couldn't have any music on set and it's so much a part of her soul and i know her even now still when we shot together not too long ago it is so much a part of her and like a, she's such an empath and she takes she's a sponge to anything negativity mm -hmm. or positivity and she's just a sponge so she wasn't in the environment as it continued on as it got you know the the the, the marathon kept getting harder harder um it was it was weighing on her because she didn't have her tools to make her grounded mm -hmm. but she killed it and she's killing it now and she has her own line bum palace mm -hmm. she's doing great she's clearer than ever she yes her body's amazing taking photos of her was a dream and we're gonna take more on saturday listen guys i had the blessing i had the opportunity to speak to meg a couple months ago so if you want to see her talk about cycle seven you can go on my youtube channel and check that out because we did talk yep. to miss rock and roll herself yeah she gave some good modeling tips on yours the next person is brooke brooke yeah i really thought brooke was the biggest sweetheart she was so sweet but i did not understand model from her i was like okay this is a pageant girl this is a cheerleader okay. this is a personality it was a beautiful gracious pure personality but i just didn't get model from her and i and i know that her personality and her and she tried so hard god bless her she was so young she tried so hard and i know that's what was keeping her in but i was watching people who could really actually be like top fashion models leave and i'm like Ah, oh, this is frustrating. But she wanted it bad, and she put her whole heart in it. God bless her, you know. Love and nothing but love for her. But I just kept feeling, just just more of a pageant vibe from her, not a model model. Okay, you know if what you I mean. There. That's Gosh. just real. That's just real. Oh, hang on one second. Okay, yeah. Are you wearing a nose? Yes. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make? Carrie, um, what's in your um? Uh, what's in your teacup? Um, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you say you hate you? you I'm making you tea. I think she said that she hates me or she's making me tea. Okay. Um, don't put that stuff you put in it last time that made me so sleepy for all those days. Um, what was the question, honey? What's in your teacup? I don't know. She makes it for me. It's like this keto tea. She's going to make it for me tea. right now. Ooh. It's like keto tea, you know? Honey, can you put the, the, the sweetener you put in here? Oh, I have. But it's supposed to be keto, no sugar. No, it's no sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You are wild. Okay. This the keto tea tastes like shit, honey. I feel like it's going to clean out my system, though. Yeah, it's yeah. good for you. She's a bad cook. Okay, sorry. Keep going. <laughs> the next person is Anshul. Oh my God, Ranchi Anshi. I love Anshul. I love her so much. I mean, how beautiful is this like, like Indian princess? She's so symmetrical. She's so sweet. She has no idea her own fucking sexual power. I just want to like choke her, have a safe word. And the safe word is more. And like, just like, get it out. She is so good. She's so gorgeous. She's so sweet. We still talk. We did a couple lives at the beginning of the pandemic. She's so great. I tried to get her to fly down, and she was looking at flights for her to make a cameo during this, but it was just too short notice. But I love my raunchy auntie. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you for even thinking about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Raunchy auntie is the best. And I mean, my God, look at that body and that face <sighs> and, this, and the sweetness in her heart. Honey, you got to get... You gotta get some daddy dick in you. Let's make you a little, let's make you a little rough around the edges. What? Yeah, that? I mean, she's single and I just don't get it. She's single? She's single. And then you know, it's and it's on purpose. She's not like, look, she's just like, she just gets bored. She's like, no. And I'm like, girl, we were counting on you to be that girl that married like the five husbands that had the five houses all over. That was Angel's responsibility post-show. Well, for she a second, it looks like she's about to do it. <laughs> it's not too late, Anchi. We need Which... a place in the Poconos, Greek Islands. Like, just get that alimony pony so we have somewhere to go when we get locked down. And make alimony... sure jet too, or just alimony get it in the pony divorce. and daddy dick and daddy dick mm -hmm. and the jet, if you don't mind. 
Ooh. That, that was her job because she's got that vibe. She's like, she's got wifey. Look, look at her. I'd wipe me, her up. Me too. If I like to swim in those types of lakes. I know. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'd swim all day. Ooh, don't drown. Mm. Okay. The next person on our list is Jada. Well, you know what? Before I talk about Jada, let's let's talk about Anshul right fast because Anshul went through, um, you know, issues with accepting herself, dealing with critique, hearing what people had to say about her, showing up in the in the photo shoots and challenges like that. From you being there with her, what is your take on her experience on Cycle Seven with all of those things she was fighting? Um. Well, you know, this was before really like body positive and it's just now starting where people are getting body positive and getting more sizes and colors and ages within Molly, which I'm so excited for. So she was the outcast because we were all a bunch of skinny girls about to blow over and she was just normal and eating healthy. And there's nothing wrong with being skinny because that's what's <laughs> been taught and ingrained in us. And that's what the normal is. But at the mm -hmm. time, Plus size was like very rare, mm -hmm. you know? And she wasn't plus, she was just right in between because she's just curvy. So mm -hmm. she went through a hard time being in a house of women that didn't, she couldn't, she didn't look like anybody. She couldn't, she couldn't um, relate. And the more nervous she got, the more she ate, you know, and that's how she, she dealt with it. And I would just like take her side. I'm like, girl, like, and I always still do. I always believe in all my girls and all my friends, guys. I'm always like, you want something, you can do this. You know, you like, let me help you. Let me like be your cheerleader. So I liked our nights when we would talk and she would just talk about her insecurities. And she was gorgeous. And just in the end, her insecurities got to her and it has nothing to do. And it's okay to be insecure. I am fucking crippled some days with my insecurity. Uh, just in the competition, I was in a place where it wasn't. But so I love her. I love you, Auntie. I um I drunk called Auntie one time, and she was so sweet. And she was like, I think she <laughs> she texted me. She was like, I'm drunk too. I'm drinking. What did she say she was drinking? I think she told me she was drinking white Hennessy. White Hennessy is so good. I was gonna say Hennessy. I was just gonna say Hennessy. That girl goes Hennessy. But yeah. it was white Hennessy. I said yes, ma'am. White. Wasn't there like never, okay, white you, Hennessy? You never had white Hennessy before. I guess not. No, I just always stick to my darker Hennessy. Oh my God. Okay, so listen. So I don't know if you can. I actually don't know if you can get it in. The I don't really States. drink now, but I don't drink now really. But you got know, you. Okay. I should have tried it. Yeah. I think I don't know if you can get it. I don't know if you can get white Hennessy in the United States, but I know like when you go on cruises and like abroad and stuff like that, they have it. Carrie is so good. It is so good. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. I'll sniff it sometime. <laughs> The next person on our list is Jada. Jada, the girl that I did my big, you know, open call with. I mm -hmm. love Jada, dude. And she was just like this big athlete, but like so pretty, but then had this masculine side of her that was really hard for her to own, but we all saw it. Um, I loved her haircut. She loved men. She loved her boyfriend back home. When to cut her hair, it was like, oh shit, now it's gonna take some, some time. After I get back home, the girl is out so I can go get daddy dick and get married. She has three beautiful kids. She had beautiful. four. One, one four, uh, one passed away um, at birth. So, oh, no, but I know she, that. Her children are beautiful. She, she's living, she's living the life. She's got a beautiful house, a beautiful family. So you guys send her some love. She's, she's a great girl. And I had so much fun with her because I was there from the very beginning when we were trying out, you know, with it's over 90,000 girls tried out and we were at a 10,000 person mm -hmm. open call, so. I love that bitch. She wanted to get wifed up, and that's exactly what she got. And she did. I stalked After her, her hair Instagram grew back. Couple, I um stalked her Instagram a couple of months ago, and I was like, "Yes, Miss Jada is over here living. She can give." And she she's... and she and Minneapolis is a great place. She's still oh Iowa. I don't know, but she still models, and she does a lot mm -hmm. of like good stuff for Target. She's doing mm -hmm. fabulous. She's doing what she wants. She's a mom. She's got her man. She's got her house, and she's got some modeling on the side. She still models. And she, how can she not? Bone structure. Hello. I've been I've been missing out on these photo shoots. I've I've been meaning to talk about each photo shoot as each girl goes home. What did you think about quickly? What did you think about the cover girl shoot? Which in the one? tunnel, in the tunnel. I went in the tunnel. Where you had to reach. Oh, the skydiving. Uh huh. Hang over, Hannah. Bring your nose in the in the in the skydiving. 
Leave the soap. Soap? No. <laughs> she wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do that. I'm gonna get her verified. She's not. She wouldn't do that. <laughs> Hannah. <sighs> okay. Anyway. So the skydiving thing was so fun. They told us to like, you know, be very safe and like, you know, move really slowly. And I was like, I'm about to have zero gravity on my body for the first time ever. I'm going off. But I just kept my arm up the whole time. And I was doing flips and they were like, oh my God, you're so dangerous. I was like, when's the last, when's the next time I'm going to be floating for real? Like, yeah, I was a little loose, but mm. I got the best shot of the day. So let a bitch know. You gotta take you. risks. You gotta Let take risks. Know. Break the rules, honey. Burn the book. Burn the book and keep the fire. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that was good. Burn the book Ooh! and keep the fire. Oh, thank you. I just didn't know. <laughs> now listen, for my birthday, like a couple months ago, I went and I they have a they have one of those things here in Atlanta where you can get inside. Oh it was my first time. Guys, I promise I'm gonna post the vlog tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm Fine. gonna post that blog. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post all the blogs out. Oh y'all! I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I am. Oh, for fun. But when I got in there, I... <laughs> when I got in there, I said, "Oh, I know why all of those photos were horrible." Uh, well, well, I was so them. petrified. It, mm -hmm. It's such a weird sensation that it takes you a little bit to kind of understand. Yes, and the wind. Yeah, like how can you keep your face? You can't. How? That's called top model challenge. <laughs> <laughs> what about it's still Photoshop, honey? Who knows? That's and then crazy. going forward, what did you think about when you guys got to Barcelona? I, and I want to talk about it. What did you guys think about? What did you think about when Jada went through all those issues she went through with the male oh, model? What a dick. What a dick. I felt for Jada because. And then she, you know, she had a boyfriend and then she was already uncomfortable. And then she had this misogynist pig racist guy that was her male model who would not help her it was just it was too bad and it's like it's, it's he sh you know what should have happened they should have fired him they and not made her go through with it okay why did they make her go through with it oh you have to you know what here's the lesson here's a top model lesson you have to work with somebody who's blatantly racist to your face now get that fucking guy offset Go to the mall, find another motherfucker who can keep his mouth shut and has a fucking brain and a heart, <laughs> and get him on fucking, get him on set. Let's do that, okay? Mm -hmm. Please. Why'd she have to go through that? Makes good TV? I don't fucking think so. Let's think better. You know, with you saying this, I'm just thinking about all the instances on Top Model where the girls had to, of course, of course, we've discussed all of the, like, trauma and abuse and mistreatment and all the other stuff but this it really triggered my mind like in the instances where men would come in and do things and the girl had to like take 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 responsibility for it and i'm thinking about like people like shandy people like kenya with that people like jada like those were not their problems they like they didn't cause that but they're no. standing in the show. Their experience on the show got affected by what a man did. That actually just pissed me off. That actually just pissed me off. I am so glad that now, hopefully now, hopefully that those types of things have been unnormalized and people don't have to withstand or take people's shit just because this is an opportunity that can go to somebody else. If somebody treat you treat right, like you said, get the motherfucker out of here and get somebody in here that can do it correctly but we're not gonna let this woman be mistreated like this no. and make you her know have what? To the thing is kiss like, him. Hear it. you hear it now and i hear you preach to that but the thing is you're still talking about it and that's why the producers kept it going because it made television but now we're in a place where things are starting to change okay mm -hmm. things are starting to change they're not going to hold on to that shit they're going to switch it out we're, we're writing better we have more diverse casts we have women mm -hmm. directors, we have women photographers, things are shifting, you know, yes, and that's so important. And so that that will be a thing of the past. And we'll look back at it and cringe like when we watch some of our favorite sitcoms. Sometimes I watch Married with Children. Love you, Kelly Bundy. Hello, Style Inspiration. But I will cringe at like some of the shit that's on there. Just like the mm -hmm. writing. and You know, anyway, so I'm just saying things are shifting and I totally get it. But 
we're just becoming more aware now that people are speaking and it's going to be a benefit for everybody. Yes, Nobody ma'am. has to Thank feel like you. that. Thank you. Um, the next person on the list is Michelle Babin. I love Michelle. She was my favorite twin. Amanda was fine, but Michelle is better for me. <laughs> Why? Because, uh, because I, came just related, the door, I just related uh-uh. to Michelle better. Amanda uh-uh. was Hold fine, on, but that bitch Hold could not float. She couldn't float. Carrie. So, so, so then my favorite went to Michelle. No, but no, me and Michelle just got along. She was a more tomboy one. Mm-hmm. Although I'm feminine, I have a very strong alpha masculinity about me. And uh, she had that same, just like, she was both. Amanda was very sweet. And I felt like if I said anything to her, I might shock her or break her. So, mm-hmm. but I loved her. Amanda was so sweet. Man, you know, I love you, girl. But Michelle was just my homie. Mm-hmm. Carrie D, who came to the door that got you uh, excited for like two seconds? I saw your face. What happened? Who? Oh, who came to the door? Uh-huh. You licked your tongue and you got really excited. I, I saw like a two seconds of ecstasy. No, you are. Now, look at you looking all... Somebody wants to know who I was looking at. Oh, I be watching. <laughs> Hannah. I watch. Hannah? 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 And, um, he wanted to know what I was looking at. He said I looked over and was smiling at a situation. So... Daddy dick. Let's just... Uh, let's just hang out for a second. Stand by. And he's out of the way. Stand by. Wait, what's Stand going by. on right now? Carrie, I don't feel like having a, a heart attack on the internet. <gasps> I hate y'all. Y'all pulled a me on me. We pulled a you on you. <laughs> yes, Colleen. Well, guess what? I got a surprise <laughs> guest, too. Who is your surprise guest? Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie. Oh, Eugenia, how are you, pretty? Good. I missed you in LA. I'm so sad about no, it. No, you didn't. You didn't miss me. I did. I was like, oh, fuck. But I knew he's coming back. I'm coming back, girl. I'm coming back. back to LA. First of all, <laughs> I, 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 I got you. Okay, I got you. Okay. Bro, this is so you. Is this <laughs> is so extra? Like, come to my bed, Well, boys. why do I have this over my bed, too? I have it so like, like, like the thing. You know, super candy. Super candy. Um, Keeps you safe. Keeps you guys are, Carrie D, you're in your bed right now. This is your bed. This is my bed. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This I love bed. it. I love I'm it. I'm a fantasy girl. I love it. I'm a fantasy girl. Eugenia, what's the tea? What's going on, y'all? Oh, here, I got your tea. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, Eugenia, real, oh, Regina, real side note. I was looking at your, a... Side note. Use I was looking at your cover girl photo yesterday from the top three. Yours was better mm-hmm. than Melrose. Mel, I know Melrose think I don't like them. Melrose, oh, I, way I better. Have you seen your this photo list? was actually better than Melrose's. I know. Yeah. Way better. <laughs> I, I know. I know. And like the, the <laughs> eyes and the skin. Mel goes, stop it. Is that what you was in here doing? I didn't see nothing. <laughs> Carrie was in here talking her and shit. Who else was my armpits are today? <laughs> this is so amazing. I don't know what to do right now. No, we, let me tell you something. I, I, I have Charity and I have not seen each other in literally five, five, five years. years. But we talk on the phone for hours at a time. Yeah. Hours at a time. Well, I haven't talked to you. OK, so we first started talking back when quarantine happened, because it was like, <laughs> who do I know? <laughs> Actually, we saw each other right after the show aired. Yeah. We were starting to air. You came over to my my yeah. hotel, and we hung out. Like, we used we to the, hang out in all LA the all the time. All the time. But the last time we hung out was like 2015 or 16. And then mm-hmm. life did life. And life did life. Did this and we did went that. there, she went there. And, and we would talk there. every now and then, like mm-hmm. text. But mm-hmm. it wasn't, we would never like hung out or saw each other. Then yeah. we had a whole conversation. A whole thing. Um, mm-hmm. During COVID. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so mm-hmm. then we FaceTimed yesterday. And I was like, girl, I have not seen you in five I know. years. Five years. Yeah. Yes. So now we're back. We're here. We're here. Yeah. And we're going to Mexico next we're week. Going to Mexico next week. <laughs> you guys are going to Mexico? No, next month. Next, next month. month. We're lying. Yeah, I know. No, next month because I got I got some stuff I got can to shoot down. Can I come to Mexico? Yeah, sure. You guys can all come. 
<laughs> you guys can all go. Yeah. Uh, I miss you. Look how good her skin is. Gosh. Oh, that's not because I forgot. But we can. Oh, we can. But her skin is good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Eugenia. All right, okay, so hi. We're here. Okay, we're here. Let's ask some questions. Eugenia, do you know that you're my most watched interview now? <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah. Shandy from Shandy from Cycle Two had it for Shandy had it for a good little minute, but you eventually. I I mean you know why because I think, I think that your interviews about are about really telling our experience for real mm -hmm. for real and a lot of times like with Top Model mm -hmm. and people for some reason are really really hush hush or they have been really hush hush it's just like you know yeah. let's not tell the real deal let's not tell the real let's deal, not the real let's, deal. Not the real let's deal. put the duct tape. Yeah. yeah, close her eyes. Be thankful. <laughs> Just be grateful be that grateful. we were on it. Yeah. Be grateful that you know you got to live in a submarine most of your life. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, for me, I mean, we're adults now. Like, we're in our 30s now. And like I said to you when I had our conversation, like, this is our life experience. Like, this is our journey. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just in a space to where I'm like, I'm not going to sit here and not be real about my experience and my journey. So I think that was kind of a turning point with us and you and the show and everything to like, come on and really just say how you feel and what you right. went through. So, right? Yeah, that was, that was a good one, though. That was a good I like him. Movie. Yes, ma'am. Like now, him. before... And look at you. Do you have makeup on today? So you want to be talking? Yeah, let me see. I actually don't have on makeup today, bitch. I don't. <laughs> Daddy Dick is doing? Oh, yes. I still have no Daddy Dick. We got I still daddy. don't have Daddy, daddy Dick. dick. You, you don't have no Daddy Dick? No, I don't still. It's a shame. It's a fucking shame. I'm sorry. I know. Me too. Me too. But, Eugenia, for you, I DM'd you the other day, and you, and you didn't open it. You're a busy girl, I know. But I DM'd yeah. you, and I told you that I was, I was coming for your spot. Hold on. Let me go to our thread. I said I was coming for your spot. You actually walked in on, on the right photo shoot, and because you're not the only one that can that can extend either. Stop! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! I love that. <laughs> no, you came for me, for real though. <laughs> I did. I wasn't did. on my tippy toe, but no, you were a straight arabesque for real. <laughs> that was good. And that was I love when you did that shot. Oh, thank you, thank you. The bull shot. Man, we weren't the bull shot. I think we pull this up. Do we have okay, questions? So, oh yeah. Who's where were we? Okay, we talked about Michelle. The next person is Amanda. Amanda. The twin that Yeah. It's your show, go. She was a lullaby twin. The lullaby twin. The lullaby twin. She just she's sweet. She's cute. Really cute. Uh, I think she's married now. I think I think it's her that's married. Is she married? Everybody married. Everybody married and having kids. That's that's your wife, baby. Yep. Um Everybody's married, having kids. Uh, I have two cats and Eugenia <laughs> and Hannah. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, uh, I'm so glad that she's married. I didn't really keep in touch with either of them after the show. No, but I wish them the best. Mm -hmm. um, they're so cute. Um, yeah, I was, you know, I was bummed when Michelle left, but I think it was cute that she sacrificed herself for a sister who wanted it more. You know what I mean? Where are you? Eugenia? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go here and go there. Okay. The next person on our list is Eugenia. Oh! 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 Talk about me, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> no, you're supposed to talk about me now. Oh, that's right. Okay. I don't really like the bitch much, to be honest. <laughs> Tear her to pieces. I don't know what she's up to. Drag her. I, I don't know who Eugenia is. Hang on. Burn her. I got to call some. Seen it, have it smell I got to call a friend. Yeah. Last call out. Dragger. All right. Hi, is Mariah Carey there? Hi, Mariah Carey. It's Carrie D. Yes. Hi, darling. How are you? Yes, I'm using my good side. Um, what What's that one thing I say when they ask me about that bitch? Got it. I don't know her. <laughs> Just <I hate> kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I <laughs> love Love, love, love Eugenia, obviously. She's the best. That's a good when I said <laughs> that's, that's a good girl. That's the same. That's the same. That's the same. Okay. No, but I love her, obviously. When I was like, come on and do this with me. But during the show, we were homies. We got closer and closer and closer. There was never 
ever a moment between us. No. Um, you, you, I mean, you said to keep my clothes. I couldn't keep my clothes I said that with a camera. But that's for okay. Real, but that's for real, though. Yeah. I never had my clothes on. Yeah. If I did have my clothes on, they couldn't mic me. So I didn't have my clothes oh, on. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was always mm -hmm. titties. My original titties, titties out. were out. The OG yeah. titties were out. The OG titties. Mm -hmm. OG titties were always out because and I was you couldn't to get mic'd. naked back then. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was just. I was just naked. Yeah. Well, I was I was topless. Mm -hmm. Yes. I wasn't like coochie out. I, I wasn't like here's my beef. I said that because <laughs> I get some beef skirt. My beef skirt. <laughs> no, no beef skirt. No, no, no. It's like provolone. <laughs> provolone. No, it's like it's like it's like it's like it's like truffle. <laughs> no, no, Carrie, just let it go. I let it go. Truffles. <laughs> Truffle butter. Truffle butter. Mm -hmm. Goes good on everything, <laughs> but very expensive. Very expensive. <laughs> Eugenia, let me ask you this. Okay. La the last chat, you you told us that when Mame was, you know, you told us about the whole Mame and Tyra Tyra calling you a bitch to Mame and Mame telling you, and you told all, was Mame upset that you told us that? No, she wasn't. She wasn't. Um, no, she wasn't upset. We laughed about it. Um, good, good, good. Cute, cute, cute. Mommy girl. Yeah. Do you want me to make the connection? Listen, I've been talking to Mommy longer than I've been praying to Jesus. Miss Mommy okay. is a busy lady. She's a busy lady. She's I've a busy working lady. Bless Mommy's heart. We are both Libras, and um, <laughs> and we see things, and then our mind goes off, and mm -hmm. so you have to keep, like you know. Mm -hmm. because she, yeah, keep connecting the dots. Because she wants to talk to you, and she's like, "Oh, mm -hmm. you know, I will do it." But then our mind goes and mm -hmm. gets off track, and she's about to get married and all that stuff. So, um, oh, I'll whisper in her ear again. Thank you so much. The, the next lady on our list is Melrose. I need to get the camera because I don't want her to think I'm saying nothing negative about her again. I probably should hide my face. Let me turn my neck because I don't want nobody think I'm saying negative stuff about them. Oh, I have always prefaced that I'm talking about you on the show. I don't know you. Let's turn. Let's do this. Right. Let's all. <laughs> Carrie, you gotta say something. <laughs> you gotta say something, Carrie. Say something, Carrie. Okay, okay no. Melrose is a. No, okay, so. A, first off and foremost, a fierce competitor. She did not make anything easy. I did not know by the end of judging panel that I won. I did not say, like, yeah, I fucking got this. Her walk was extremely better. Anybody who wants to say anything about my walk, I walked my ass with $100,000 to the bank just fine. Okay. That's how you so my, it. My walk does suck, though. Hers is better. Everybody, my toddler is better. I don't have a toddler, but when I do, it's going to be better. <laughs> that's fine. It's mm -hmm. fine. We don't got to be perfect everywhere. No. But I did walk my ass to the bank just fine. Anyway, Melrose <laughs> is great. She's fine. She's somebody you can't really get to know because she doesn't put that off herself. You can't get deep with her. She's got a she's got a surface level. And I think when we're living with each other for so long, we mm -hmm. gotta be able to open up to each other mm -hmm. so we can relate. Because <clears throat> okay? yeah. we're going through something like we're sisters forever and all the other girls, because we went through something that nobody else can experience. And mm -hmm. with Melrose, it was just you just can't I think she. I think it's a protective mechanism. I'm not mad about it. It's just, and we weren't in a position to be friends. But even if we were, I don't think it would have been because you can't get deep with her. She's she's strategic. strategic. She's yeah. strategic. She knows what she wants and she gets it. And there's nothing wrong with that. You don't have just because you're a woman. You don't have to be all open and like let people in. If that's like you don't have to, you know. And mm -hmm. that was that was her. That was her thing. I prefer to spend time with people that go deep because I'm a deep person, somebody I can understand, somebody I can support, somebody who can support me, slap myself, you know, and be like, girl, you're being crazy. A real friend. And yeah. it's hard because Melrose wouldn't allow us to be real friends with her because we didn't know if she was a real friend, friend to us. us. Yeah. 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 But she was, you know, she's, she's great. better. She I really wanted friends. us to be the, 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 the two, but politics. But, but politics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you guys were the final two, who would have won? We both would have. <laughs> Come, <laughs> Come on, double crowning. Come on, two on two. No, but in real life, Carity, you would have won. Like, what? Carity I knew won. you were gonna win. Um, I did. I knew you were gonna win um, during the prelims when we were in the hotel. What? I knew you. Were no. Gonna win. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. 
I'm, I'm strategic too, but I'm not. Sh I'm strategic authentically. Yeah. But I knew you were gonna win during prelims because just the way um, the cycles were going before, mm -hmm. and also we've never seen your energy on TV before, and oh, the way that you were like connecting with all the girls and like the way you decided to stand out, we haven't yeah. seen it before. So I was like, okay, first of all, she's in the show. Second of all, she's probably gonna win because we needed it. Oh, it's true. Oh, thank you. Yeah, for real. Yes. So if it was us and Danielle won before, Danny won previously, mm -hmm. and you know we're two dark skinned black girls, so I was not winning. Period. I was gonna get up there, mm -hmm. but I wasn't winning. Mm -hmm. So if it was between the me and you, you'd have mm -hmm. definitely won. But it wasn't about winning. It was just like yeah. we just wanted to be together. We just wanted to be together yeah. to the end. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. And then like once the ended, I was like, yeah, I called her up. I'm like, come pick me up and ask to <laughs> And we went to the club. We were wearing our belly shirts because we were ultra skinny. We we're reality show skinny, which is like next level. So we were wearing all our midriffs. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. So it Karen, wasn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Go, go, no, you go. go ahead. No, I, I, I guess because I was like, Thank Carrie, he's yeah, the first blonde to win. Carrie, he's the first blonde to win. We had we, yeah. we hadn't had a blonde to, uh, right. to win at that point. I just thought about it. I know I was stoked. I was like, okay, Daddy, thank you for this. <laughs> my, my real dad, I'm not like Daddy did. Not like that. Ah! <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I was I was I was excited to be. I mean, I was excited to be the first blonde to win. I just like you know everybody has a moment, and that was my moment. Eugenia had has her moments and she playmate of the year exactly. like everybody has their moments right and that's mm -hmm. it that was your moment that's it that was just that moment was for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah um to, to, to wrap to, to um to and that pool was cold game. we should get to that pool talk about the yeah i got i'm gonna I'm 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 ask you about the pool when we get to the um when we get to the fan questions but i, I want to wrap up mail rolls and let and restate it you know she had got upset with me by my opinions on what i thought about her on the show and like I rewatch, I rewatch. I was like, did I say something bad about her? In the moments where I did talk about it, it was about my opinions of her on the show, which I don't know. It's on the show. Listen, Miss Mel Rose, I would love if you came to talk to me. You don't have to talk to me. Um, but yeah, yeah. No, Mel. Look at you, Gina. Look at you, Gina. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I was gonna like, is this too much for you? No, wrap it. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's get to the judges. Okay, Go, these judges. She gonna keep. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna be here. Go. Najee Barker. Oh no, you're you're here with me. Okay, I'm here. Oh you're no, you're here, you you here, girl. No, you're here. We're in the boa. Okay. And it's hot as fuck, but I can try the AC, but it's hard to hear him. Yeah, we're getting to it. Nigel Barker. I love him. He's the only one that hired me after the show. Oh, He's yeah. the only one that always keeps in touch. Oh, only one that followed me until the pandemic happened. And Miss. Mr. J started following me, but he was writing his book, and I was like, I, am, I know what this no, is. I can see that. right through that. You can't that. But Nigel, love him. He hired me. He he shot me and my brother. He brought me on to Make-A-Wish Foundations, where I met terminally sick women whose wish was to shoot with me, which was insane. Wow. And, and, like, insane and wow. humbling. And mm -hmm. so Nigel all the way. Of course, I wanted to impress Tyra the most at the time, you know, but... Twiggy was great. She was Twiggy. She, what about Twiggy? Twiggy? Twiggy was like, she just threw in what she honestly thought without too much bells or whistles. Yeah. That was my opinion, anyway. But I know that Twiggy liked Melrose. She was. She a, did she, like Melrose. Yeah, she liked Melrose. She did. Because Melrose was like, I'm yeah. sorry, there was so much brown on that. No. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, um, it's okay, because Melrose thought, you know, she was inspired by her cause, as a fashion designer and a smaller model, so. I get it. And mm. yeah, smaller, shorter, all that. Yeah. yeah. And she yeah. was like, she knew everything about Twiggy. So I get yeah. it. I get it. Flattery yeah. is the best way. Miss J. You know what? I got a crush on Miss J by the end of this fucking thing. Not Miss J. Yeah, no, not Miss. Oh, no, no, Mr. J. Miss J. Miss <laughs> J's great. I've seen her a few times. I got a crush on any anybody with a penis by the end of a three month. No talking, no looking, no nothing. Yeah, you started getting crushes on things and you're like, am I okay? I <laughs> am I okay? No. I like see Mr. J's like bicep and like Nigel with like Polo's camera. I'm like, <laughs> I went home and I had a fuck fest. <laughs> I was a buffet. A I did not know that. A buffet a dinner, honey. I had needs. I had some horny. money coming in. I had to get that. I had to hit it. 
And then I you know, and he had good. You I know, I've always wanted to ask this question. It's so inappropriate, and we'll get, we'll get back to the judges. You know, my comedy and my brain is really dark, so I try to police myself to not, you know, get myself mm -hmm. canceled. But I'm just thinking, like, if I was in the house, I would have to some type of way, like, I no, just can't you're, walk I'm around for months when I'm with all of this and energy and, and just... It was hard me. because there's cameras everywhere. It wasn't so, hard. It, no, did you? No, I mean, like, it wasn't yeah, hard. Thank you, oh, thank you, Carity. I do have to ask Carity, tell me, please, how oh. did you? No, I didn't. I'm sorry, but with Jada drooling next to me and bitching about her hair, Melrose across, telling everybody to go to bed by 3 p.m. Not this. What is this? Fingers. Did you? Did I rub? <laughs> but it's not. I mean, what what am I doing? Trying to I don't have a vagina. There? Okay. I've never I've never been close to one. I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? No. I don't no, know. What are you doing? It was hard. Did you? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I was not. Moved. I don't even think I was masturbating back then. I was like twenty. Oh, I was. I was masturbating since. Oh, stars. you was. Oh okay. yeah. <sighs> I knew it right away. Yeah. I had the touch. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. No, but it was hard because, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I knew right away. I was like, I got Hillary. We're gonna have a fun time eating you. It's gonna be a fun life. Me and my team together forever. Together forever. My sister. My sister. Hilarious. Carrie, we gotta get through this, girl. Okay, okay. Stop. Stop. <laughs> we'll stop talking about my. I life. knew it. Didn't I tell y'all out there? I told everybody watching, I told y'all, listen, I didn't drink no alcohol in the last 24 hours. I haven't had any enchanted gummies. I haven't done a thing. I said, I, myself, needed to be of clear mind, heart, Perfect. body, mind, and soul. <laughs> because I knew. Something told me. I knew. <laughs> yes. It's always um, her. We talked about Twiggy. We talked about Nigel. We talked about Miss J. You loved her. Um, anything you want to add about Mr. J? I had a crush on him at the very end. It became an issue oh, for me in my head. He's so cute. He's, he was cute. He's even hotter now. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I was like, what the heck? Is this a conversation? Is he cute? <laughs> he was cute to me at the end, but honey, okay. honey, a twig was looking good. Like, it had the right Yeah, a twig was looking good. that right girth. Man, I was like, some of those cameramen. It oh, was nice. the sound guys. The sound Guys. They're all like taking the mic and like, I'm like, it's okay. Excuse me, excuse me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're just like, okay, take my mic off. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you're yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. yeah. We were deprived. Woo. There was a cameraman there. I don't know where mm -hmm. he at or what's going on, but I was like, mm -hmm. please put my microphone mm -hmm. on and uh, take it uh, off. Uh -huh. yeah. And so, mm -hmm. for the people out there who've never, because I know exactly what y'all talking about, my cameraman. My, not my camera, my sound engineer was um, a lesbian. She was a butch, but she had very strong hands. So I was like, girl, I like this anyways. But in order to put, to successfully put a mic on, you have to, you have to get, and you have, you have to, like, you gotta there's get no in way. There. There's right, no way around it. And most professional sound people will say, hey, is it okay if I place this on you? Because you have to, you have to get I'll up in there. Out at the end. You I got can't to. Wait to be mic. Can't wait to be mic. Can't wait. <laughs> when are we getting mic? When are we getting mic? <laughs> Mike me, ooh, mic me, please. Mm. All right. Um, Mike me harder. Mike me harder. <laughs> give me that feedback. <laughs> okay. No, okay. stop. I'm gonna behave. Last but not least, Tyra Banks. No, bring your ass back. <laughs> I'm like Carrie D. This is your this is your time. I already used my phone of friends, right? Okay, so Tyra, I am so grateful for Tyra. Tyra was a genius mm -hmm. entrepreneur who mm -hmm. started the show, who mm -hmm. gave me the opportunity, who, you know, really took her show seriously. And I am so grateful for her. I, I really, really have this admiration i cannot say anything but good things because i have so many things in my life that i worked for because she gave me an opportunity and everybody needs an opportunity in order for you to fly so she showed me the runway and the plane and i figured out how to fucking fly it so mm -hmm. i am grateful for her i also wanted to be close to her she made it really seem on the show that she was a mentor so after the show when i was never in touch with her and she never reached out and sometimes i would 
like write on her Twitter and she, I would see she would read it, but she wouldn't respond. I got, I was getting hurt after, you know, a year or two went by and then, you know, so that's it. I just wanted to be friends with her. I wanted to be closer to her, you know, I, you know, and I would see her at like events, but it just felt very surface. And, but during the taping, it felt like she was really listening, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was, I was new. I was new. And all I knew was like, this was mama. And then like after the show, she was gone. But that's not to say that I needed her. I didn't need to go suck on her titty, which I'm sure would have been great. But <laughs> so she's a gorgeous girl. But I'm just saying, mm -hmm. see, foot and mouth. There we go. I know I'm getting I'm gonna get shit for that. But come on. She's a beautiful woman. <laughs> really, really beautiful. Anyway. So like, you know, I just, I just, I was just looking forward to like keeping that relationship, but you know, she did what she could for me and she, she provided these things with her business and I, and I, and I, and I got them through winning the competition and I'm grateful always for her. Um, she did block me on <laughs> Twitter and on Instagram because I have a large mouth and I What did you say, to... Carrie D? I was defending JL, God rest her soul. She oh, passed God. away. She passed away um, a couple of years ago because of uh, stage four breast cancer. But at the time, I'm really sensitive to addicts. I come from a line, a family of addicts. I'm an addict myself. So she was going through mess and she was going on Dr. Phil and everybody was like, well, what's Tyra going to do? And so I wrote on behalf of JL and I, I just wrote what I felt at the time. It was in 2012. I was like 27. I wouldn't write something off like that. Maybe now I probably would have would word it a little more delicately, but I was just so fired up emotional. that like, I was emotional because I had background with addicts. Yeah. I was emotional because they loved, they let her drink on the show. They really made her, they encouraged her loud. Not they, I don't want to say like they, but like they definitely did not say, Hey, let's not drink on this cycle or we're not serving alcohol. You know, her louder and crazier she were, she thought she was being like, that was being encouraged. And I just felt there's nothing you can do to save an addict, you know, but I'm just saying that I just felt it would have been a little bit more m monitored or something. I can't really think of the right word, but I just felt protective of her. And I felt like, you know, this girl is like going on Dr. Phil and spilling all people. Like, What's Tyra going to do? I'm like, she's not going to do, do anything. She's not going to do anything. And that's, and that's okay that she doesn't do anything, but I just said she's not going to do anything. And that's what made her block me. She did something. She blocked, she blocked me. Her That's what she did. Doing something. That's what she did. And, she blocked me. And I will just say mm -hmm. that um, I feel the same way that Charity feels about Tyra. Um, wonderful businesswoman. This yes. A, 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 Strong a businesswoman. A moment in time mm -hmm. that she created for the world. ATM yes. was literally a, a legendary, iconic show for mm -hmm. sure. For sure. Absolutely. A we woman can't... making a way through television like that. Right. Absolute respect on the business front. But 100. the reality is she left a lot of girls hurt but by not being there and not actually being the mentor that she set out to be. Yeah. She left a lot of girls hurt. Yeah. And a lot of us, we really had to get over some of the experiences that we had. We mm -hmm. really had to work through a lot of the critiques and everything that we were given on that show. Like it was hard for us. And we were at a very tender age, 19, mm -hmm. 20, 21, mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. you're like right in the middle. And we of, had no experience before. We had no experience. And it was overnight. It was, yeah. And I'm, I'm like, we're not complaining. Like, I no. love that it was overnight. I love that's Absolutely. exactly what I fucking wanted. But it was just weird when I got out of the nest and then and I was, it was like, like silence. It, yeah. And then like, there was no mentor. There was no, there was no even, guidance. No, no. It's even scary. when I write to her and I'd, I would see, cause on Twitter, you can see what some of my readers are messages. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Hey, did you see my new commercial? I hope everything's well. Nothing. Nothing. And at this time, Nigel already hired me like four or five times. I always checking in. Mm hmm. So that's, that's, that's she, that, that show was yeah. her, her, you know, she was a machine that way. Yeah. And I'm glad I was part of it. I'm grateful for it. And, and again, we did not want her to be like calling us every day. No. Time, but it's just like, maybe once if I had a question. Yeah. Or just like, here's my email. We can yeah, email me anytime. Or just don't be so cold. Like it was yeah. just cold. It was off. It was, it was off. Radio silence. It was, it was off. Yeah. Um, when, we were, when it was done, it was done. And when it was done, it was done. It was like, okay, thanks for being on my show. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I cannot wait. Eugenia, you know, I don't know if you know Carrie D, but she, she, she called me and she did tell me um, that she would do a chat with me. 
I am so praying. I am praying to the gods above Ooh. and below. Didn't you talk to her? Yeah, but only for like 15 minutes. You ready for her? Who's going to be on your cameo for that one? <laughs> Like, you know, but like I, she, she hopped in, I'll hop in with you while you talk to Ty. We'll just sit down and have a little, we'll figure this out. I'm not figuring out shit. Yeah, she's <laughs> going. She, come on. I'm not figuring out her motherfucker. Y'all would see, see right? y'all would see <laughs> me. Y'all would huh? see me. Y'all, y'all would know God is real because y'all would see my spirit immediately leave my body and go, uh, and go be with him. I would die. Um, but, I would love to see it and I would love to see an actual well, yes. real a and real because interview. these are the questions I want to ask her. Like these yeah. are the questions I want to ask her because I'm so curious, like you, like so many people out there, on how her psyche works. When because I know she's not crazy. She sees this stuff. The the fact the, the fact she called me lets me know she sees this stuff. Like she sees we it. No, and she plans it. And she, and and I'm she's, curious. To, first and foremost, she's a TV show creator, so she's going to create content before we think of anybody else. Like how the pool was cold. Of course, that made good TV. It was dangerous, and now she learned her lesson because, like, what cycle fifteen or something? They had a, they had to pose on a block of ice, but they're like, you can only do it for five minutes at a time. We have medics, and it's not, you know, for us. They were keeping us in the pool for an hour, hour and a half. They've learned through, like, okay, we can't always put, you know, the content before the human being. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck, you know. I was free, and then you know what? If I would have left the pool. If I would have left the pool, I would, you would have got voted out. I would have got, Carrie, you got to go, the, the fucking Danielle, went on an elephant in the middle of the safari, you know, and then, and then if I, you know, would have Oh, stayed, Danielle messed it up for all y'all. Danielle messed it up for all of y'all. No, she just, you know, she did it. That's what you do. I've gone to work sick, but yeah. nobody, nobody in their right world will put a runway over a pool where you got but a I'm, star on your leg still. Well, and well, nobody I think that's okay you because, because Danielle like got up and like fought through it and performed well and won. They always used her doing that for anybody who yeah. said they toe was bleeding, they hair coming out, they lungs not working, they butt is hardened. Okay, well Danielle did this and she won. So what's her excuse? Damn if I do, damn if I don't. That was damn if I do, damn if I don't. I was like, I was not going. I love, no, I don't. My hometown was was hard growing up. I grew up in a really hard situation. I was going to do mm -hmm. anything to never have to go back there. So if I had to get hypothermic for a little bit and say bye bye for a few days in a coma, fine, <laughs> fine. But I'm going to win. You know, I'll make that. Yeah. I'll make that mm -hmm. hypothermia look good. I was shivering a bit too much, but <laughs> picture was great. Picture was great. Carrie D, I'm curious to know what are your thoughts on production and the head honchos like Ken Mock. I love Ken Mock. I really respect him. I will say this very briefly. I don't want to go too into it because it's triggering for a lot of people. Um, I work a lot with mental health as I have mental health um, things I'm always working through. But during the acting challenge, which was really un inappropriate for this woman to push us to a point of breaking so we would just divulge things that we wouldn't normally say she kept pushing us to say things and there was a point where i said something because i just blacked out i was so angry and we were so mm -hmm. stressed and underslept and and i said something that when i said it i quit the show that day i walked out yes. i walked out and i said i'm done you quit the show yes, i quit the I show i quit the show because the the coach or the, the actor coach was like, if you can't get it together, you need to leave. And I'm like, I'm done with the show. I quit because if this part of me gets aired, bad things will happen with my family yeah. and, and with, and with myself, but mostly I was so concerned with my family. So I quit the show. I walked off. Michelle was the one that ran after me and she, you know, she called, talked me off the ledge. Ken Mott came to me and he's like, we promise we won't air that. And I'm never going to say what it is until I'm comfortable. It's an abuse situation that happened in my childhood. I'll say that. And for, so for that, I am grateful for the producers. So my family knew about the details and the stuff that just came out of me because I was being pushed to say things. It would, it would be bad. I would lose a lot That's of people. So, Respect. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Kim Ogg. <laughs> no, but that's my you know yeah. Kim mm -hmm. Ma, he did care he did he care. cared I do I do love Ken he yeah cared. Ken yeah. cared and he kept in touch I had yeah. a couple meetings with them after mm -hmm. Ken cared 
-hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. You did. You did. You did. This is why I love talk. This is why I, I just enjoy because so many people have so many different experiences of everyone where like they, they didn't like this person, but this person was great. It was uh, it's beautiful to hear you do to hear mm -hmm. you speak about Ken Mock that way because from everybody up until this point, he doesn't always get the best rap, which again, I wasn't there, so I can't say true, false, nay, mm -hmm. but it, it is refreshing to hear you speak nice of him. Yeah, well, I just once he told me, yeah, yeah, he's he's okay on my book, and I and I and yeah. I. And I thank you. I think that 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 action challenge was emotional for all of us, and it was inappropriate. Yeah. Everybody was crying. Yeah, we knew that that, that it went too far at that point. Mm -hmm. But let's move on. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna get into the fan questions that I pulled down from the comment section. It's not a, it's not a lot, but we are gonna get through it. You ready? Okay. Ready. Okay. So this is Justin eight eight nine five. He is asking, what did the models, if anything, get for being voted cover girl of the week? <laughs> Um, that was that was always air because because the lovely fans would vote. So it's already we were already done taping. So that was just for uh, cover girls purposes of advertisement and then the fans being able to speak and vote. So mm -hmm. we will we would get nothing, but we would get happy. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. I get happy. I pour myself another shot. I'm like, Woo! Woo! Thanks guys. Mm -hmm. It was cool. To, it was cool to be able to see the fans like interact interact. Yeah. So it was uh, it was it was it was all for the heart. Yes. Um, we we went home with a bunch of CoverGirl products. Yeah, every every shit. I never use that. Anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh, next question. I lost. I wish I was over there. Products. I wish I was right there in the middle. Right there. Right there. Right. Yes. Right there. Okay. Kara Julia is asking, how awkward was the Fabio photo shoot? That was so cringy oh, for God. me. Oh God! I forgot about. Oh! Where is Fabio? Huh, huh. <laughs> Fabio, Fabio. Is, ba Fabio was respectful and professional. He was. Yes. He just ate sexy to me. I was sexy. like, you're gonna bring a man model? It's gonna be Fabio? Like, it just wasn't, it wasn't what we I needed. I couldn't believe it wasn't butter. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one! That was a good one! <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> no, Fabio was very yeah, professional. Was considering, like, how close we were, he was really sweet. I saw him a few times, like, out in LA. He was always very sweet. Always, mm -hmm. never crossed the line. But, you know. Yeah. It, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Didn't do nothing. We need a different didn't type do, of man for us. Yeah, didn't do nothing down there. But Ooh. it was fun. It was fun. You yeah. know, you just got to commit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just got to commit. You just got to commit. <laughs> You got, you got to keep it. You don't want to go back home. It's like, take it, Fabio. All right, come on, Okay, Fabio. let's go. Come on, Fabio. Let's do this. <laughs> let's go. So the the Lost Levite is asking, Carrie D, talk about hosting Pretty Wicked. Wasn't that the same house from Cycle 4? So I, after, after I won Top Model, I hosted a few shows on MTV. And then this is how I got out to California. They asked me to host and executive produce a show oh. called Pretty Wicked. And it was about taking girls who um, are like self-proclaimed divas and use a lot of mm -hmm. outside things in order for them to feel good. And we put them through a series of challenges and I was the host and it was so different because the host is so like, okay, so when you have to, there was no personality, but I was grateful for the experience. But as, as like, you know, the executive producing side, that was just something they told me. <laughs> It's like saying like Santa's real, you know, and then like you just wake up like I got nothing. <laughs> like I just, I, I'm making suggestions. Don't even get me started. Better. But they went on the show and then understandably, this is what they do. They premiered at the Bad Girls Club and it was just so dramatic. And I was under the impression we were going to help change girls to make them a better person. But then when Post happened, that's a show that Post makes like girls after each other. And I was like, I want nothing to do with, I mean, like I was grateful for the experience, don't get me wrong, and the paycheck. But um, it just wasn't how I was pitched. And so right. I stopped doing hosting after that, unless it was a legit kind of like, you know, not trashy. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, there's an element you to like- get creative control over it. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. an element to like drama with every, reality whatever but i didn't like the girls pitting up against each other and stuff like that gotcha like even though like, we didn't pin up against each other we were all shooting trying to be yeah. our best but we weren't like i did better than you well not in our cycle anyway we're all pretty har harmonious yeah kim 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 
Kim, you know who I'm talking about. Kim, DM me the proper way to, to pronounce your name because I feel like I pronounced it five different ways. I, I, I don't know which one is sticking. But Kim Miero is asking, tell us about your challenge win where you went back to Austin and met Dennis Quaid. Brooke was so sad she didn't get to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you calculating? So we flew back that day and did the wobbly pool runway. Uh, Dennis oh Quaid. Gosh, she wanted to go to Austin. She wanted to Austin. She was from there. I and I'm like, about that. I'm like you Give were there one. like two months ago and you'll be back there in a little yeah. bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm going. My, my wins. I'm going. <laughs> Actually, I was picked by AJ. Thank you, AJ. Um, mm -hmm. Me and Meg. And we went. And it was really fun. It was my first runway experience. I met Paul Mitchell, which was really cool for me to meet mm -hmm. like somebody who was in the industry coming from Fargo. That was my first like, besides Frederick Mackay meeting people who were like, you know, I would, I felt myself turn into a networker for the first mm -hmm. time. Dope. I'm a model. Here's, here's, you know, Paul Mitchell and his wife. Hi, nice to meet you. Dennis Quaid was very nice. Mm -hmm. I walked like I had, uh, I can't be, I had to be political. I just walked like there was a small toddler between my legs underneath my dress. I was wobbly, but that's just because I just can't walk very well, but mm -hmm. it was really, really fun. And um, it was really fun to be with Meg and, and AJ because we were like the alternative. It's like funny because every group I had, like I was trying to just all had their different thing. They were an alternative. And I was like, yeah, like someone's <laughs> that's in the alley, you know, oh, kind gosh. of vibe, you know, like that was that vibe. So I had, I had a blast and it was good. It's the first time I realized how important net networking is and how one, one thing, one like event, if you play it right and if you're clear headed and you're focused, you can meet somebody that can really help shift your path. Message children, message. Can I, I just want to ask, I just want to yes. ask, because I forgot about the Austin thing and how AJ chose you. Do mm -hmm. you think AJ did that on purpose? Because we were all expecting her to be, because Brooke wanted I, to go home so bad. She wanted to go home bad. Yes. Yeah, but AJ can't like lie, you know, she was just like herself. Yeah, she, she didn't give, give nobody a fuck. Petty. She wasn't going to give nobody. No, she was going to, she was going to be all in the hotel room for three days. She's like, it's not going to be the cheerleader of the fucking house. I'm okay. Not be in a okay. <laughs> It's not, gonna be, it's not gonna be a little Miss Sunshine, okay? It's gonna be the girls who have <laughs> I want to go with. a little bit of edge and depression yeah. on them. Yeah. 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 Mm. Brooke really thought she was about to go home that week. No, she, did. she just was, came there. And I was like, I want to go with Megan Carey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go. Mm. I'm gonna have to be in a hotel room. We were. That was fine. Funny. Okay, sorry. That's it. I no, like y'all are fine. Stop apologizing. I don't, <laughs> I don't give a damn. You know I don't give a damn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but Purple Girl <laughs> niggas asking. I want all the tea with the hypothermia situation. That shit was real. She got through it. I have an autoimmune disease. So when I start shutting down, so everything affects me. Like if I get a cold, I get it harder. Psoriasis is an autoimmune disease. So cold, when I'm cold, anything kind of sickness just hits really hard. It's really intense. My, my immune system will shut down. So plus fucking Amanda cannot float. Okay, if I was on the Titanic, I would I would not want her. Jack, you'll be okay. Jack. No, yeah, she was Jack. I she was, was Jack. I was on the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but and I was and I had my whistle and I'm like Tara, I'm fine, no worries. And I was like, goodbye world, fading, <laughs> goodbye. And I was like, like hocus pocus, goodbye world. world. <laughs> Bye world, it's been fun. I'll never let go, Tyra. I'll never let go. <laughs> I tried my best. And I didn't let go. And then the paramedics took me out. Yeah. And I don't really remember much. That's but every shot, that. every shot was good. She said every you, shot was good. Mm -hmm. But that's the kind of like love hey she does. She, you should have gone out. You should have. But I will say, every shot, you were perfect. You didn't show that. And I'm like, it goes from this. This is how Powell goes. <laughs> <laughs> did you black exactly. out exactly huh did you black out yeah i went i went somewhere I look at them ken mock was like running the pool and the medics were running i remember them running but that's the last thing you're supposed to do is like race bring up your heart rate like it seems like the thing to do and i was like <gasps> running and i was like oh no i'm real <laughs> it's like it's like if you're like if you're like bent down and you stand up and just start running in place really fast <laughs> pass out <laughs> bye <laughs> Yeah, I'll never Eugenia, let go. Eugenia, do you remember how long she was under? I wasn't underwater. No, I was just no not just underwater. So me. Bad. I got pulled out. No, I wasn't like I wasn't at the no, bottom, my... like swimming with the fishes. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I used the wrong 
mm. words, not under the water. So oh, I was like, <laughs> oh, under the pass out. So yeah, uh huh. I was, I was Car uh, Melrose and I went first, mm -hmm. and so I was upstairs. Remember, I told y'all when I laid on the concrete to mm -hmm. thaw out because we were like, mm -hmm. you were mm -hmm. shaking and Literally shivering. shivering. Mm -hmm. So we, I was upstairs like trying to thaw out because mm -hmm. I was laying face down on the concrete trying to like uh mm -hmm. thaw out and get warm mm -hmm. and then i heard the ambulance and i heard they were saying yo carry me so i was like oh shit but i couldn't do much because i was i was fighting hypothermia myself girls <laughs> they were all cold yes i think the only difference is just my immune system shut down and i was on really strong medication but, yeah and melrose is just cold so she was all right <laughs> ah melrose is just cold so she was all right she was in her natural environment she was in her natural environment <laughs> <laughs> Santi DM Marquez is asking, what are your thoughts? Ooh, okay. All right, here we go. I gotta wake up for this one. Okay. Santi Check DM out, Marquez is asking, what are your thoughts on Molly Sue's declarations about you? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, she spoke about you during our chat when I interviewed her for Cycle Six. Do you know? Do you know what I'm talking? Hello. Hi, Mariah. It's Carrie D again. What's that thing I say about somebody who's talking? Right. I don't know her. Look <laughs> 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 like who's gonna break first. Did you, so did I, you hear? I can't repeat because, like, I didn't know this was I, don't, I didn't know it. Didn't okay, know, okay. Know okay, let me sum it up. Let me sum it up. So, and dang it, I should have went, I should have rewatched it before I did this so I can get the verbiage right in my head. So I'm, I'm going to say less so that I can just sum it up the right way because I don't want to misspeak for her. Um, but she said something to the effect of the way that Carrie D conducted herself, like, on the runway. She mentioned your commercial, like, your walk. Um... Something to the like, like, guys help me shit. out. It was it was like it was like something to the effect of like dang it okay it was something to the effect of like the way that you carried know. yourself the way you can the know, way you carried yourself and conduct yourself at I'm the not. agencies at the agencies had an effect on other top model girls that came. I'm sorry. Did she win something? <laughs> what what was she like? Was she third or what? We don't know why Molly Sue is talking shit. Who is Molly Sue? We don't know why Molly Sue. You know who Molly Sue is? She has very I really, I honestly, I swear to God, God, on this, on, on my <laughs> child, I do not know who Molly Sue is. Honey, I'm sorry, baby, but I just got to swear on something that means something. Something that means something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I swear on these two. Super expensive. Yeah, yeah. But no, honestly, we don't know. I don't know. Why is Molly Sue talking shit? I don't know. My agency okay, loved me. I, I don't know. I, I was signed with Elite for four years, and I just ended yeah. up changing when I came out here because Elite wasn't the same here as it was in New York. So I just went to LA Models. It was far better for a commercial look. My agents, my agents at Elite loved me, and I got re-signed to CoverGirl for three years in a row. So, yeah. and I know my walk was bad, but I said I walked my ass with a hundred thousand dollars right to the bank just fine. Yeah. So how you fuck up Molly too, but you didn't fuck me up? I don't know, girl. Sorry. That makes sense. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Let's listen. <laughs> okay, cuz. Uh uh. Ooh. Copyright. <laughs> oh, crap. I think, even like, <laughs> honestly, I think Carity probably ruins that for everybody. Um, oh, I have a lot of comments. She was a mess. I think she was a mess. I think she was all over the place. She found her little, like, psoriasis niche, and, like, she's, by that time, Elite was fatigued. Oh, that's what he's saying. Yeah, Elite was fatigued. Like, they were just like, I don't, I don't want these girls. They did not want us. <laughs> Wait, was my single before us or after us? Wait. Right before you guys. So what? So she couldn't make she's it? before? So if before, well, I, I don't, I don't, don't want to, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to say she said it affected her. I think she was talking about at the agency on why other girls in later cycles had issues at Elite 
to agency. Honey, I do not have that much power. And if a if an agency is a girl with potential, they don't give a fuck. fuck what I do. Hello, Naomi. Hello, Tyra. They still there's room for everybody. No. Uh -uh. If nobody liked Molly Sue, then she didn't get liked. She didn't like her. No, it wasn't Molly. It wasn't Molly. It wasn't Molly. I don't think she said it affected her. I think she was talking about. I think she was talking about the way the girls were treated at the agency, like the people well, like the key who had issues. Tiana had. Constantly, that's something about the agents thought about top model, not me. Yeah, talk to not me. Not me, because I was an elite. And yes, and yes, I did my sorority thing. Thank you, Molly, for shouting that out. We got a lot of money. We got We got twenty-seven million people suffering in America alone yeah. with that. So thank you for reminding. And now I'm glad that I've worked so hard in volunteering with Psoriasis so people know that that's what I'm about. So thank you for knowing that about me. Sorry I know nothing about you. Bitch. Molly, I love you. Oh. Why is she talking shit? That's what I don't get. Mm -mm. If you if if they like you, they like you. If they don't, they don't. They don't like you, Molly Sue. So there's that. No, the people do like Wait, no. It wasn't okay. Molly, like it was other people, but I couldn't ruin anything for anybody. No! And I know my walk is bad. I don't care. Next Shit. question. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Kara Julia wants to know if there was an A and T and photo shoot, would you come back as a photographer? Yeah, of course. I would love to. Oh. Yeah. Don't. Tyra would be the host though. <laughs> Tyra will be my yeah, be the host. Tyra will be the host. <laughs> you gonna say Tyra can't be the host? No, if I get back. No, yeah, she can't. <laughs> Cause she ain't gonna want me back. Oh my gosh, she can't I, I've always wanted to go back. That'd be really fun. I would absolutely love that. She would never allow me back. No, she ain't gonna allow me back though. Ken Moth might. If they ever reboot it again, that would be great. I wish they did. Mm -hmm. It's a fun experience. Justin8895 is asking, what did the models, is okay, already asked that. Fabio, oh, what did I do? I did something bad. I'm sorry. Give me one second, y'all. I was Molly's shaking here. up. What's up, girl? Molly's Wait, here. No. No, keep going. It's fine. Yeah, keep going. This, I, this is not. This is not no, for her. It's not. She for had her time. Yeah. Nothing but love for women, but that was unnecessary. That was necessary. You started that. Yeah, but go ahead. What's the next question? So Joe down her, Joe down, Joe down her rabbit hole. Her rabbit hole. What? Yes. He says, okay. "I love Carrie D." Can she please? Can she please recreate the iconic screaming running final runway? Tara told me to never make that face again. I have to honor it. She's a good mentor. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, what were you thinking when you were running down that runway like that? They used to be dramatic, and I'm like, oh, since I was okay. born. You want to see dramatic? I was taking shit out of my hair. That was fun. I mean, they said be dramatic, be over the top. So over the top for other people is probably where I'm at naturally. So when you tell me to go over the top, I'm taking shit out of my hair and using it as weapons. I'm going over the top. I'm, going, I'm, over, the, I'm over the top. Yeah. Just so I'm being fair, and I, I, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to move from it. Molly Sue said, she, I didn't play it all, which I'm pretty sure I didn't play it all. I just didn't want to play the whole thing because I didn't know where it would stop. Oh, honey, you were and she you. said, and she said, I said lovely things about you. That's not what I just you heard. Didn't hear. No, I didn't hear anything lovely. Oh. So maybe you should play that. It's not that. even beef. It's just we don't understand it. We don't get it. It's no beef. We just don't okay, get it. Okay, we're good. No beef. All right. Oh, um, yeah, you could have played the nice thing, so this would have happened, but you know. I mean, what'd you say? We're all adults. You say what you say. You say what you say. But moving on, it was, on, it was one of the most fan. If the, the fans really wanted to know if you heard it and what you thought. If I if I misstepped <laughs> anyone, I apologize. I'm so sorry. No, you're doing your job. You, you it's there's no beef. We just don't know why good, you good. said it. All gotcha. Good. Okay, we moving not on. You, not you, her. Gotcha. We don't know why she said it. Ain't no beef. We don't know why she said yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't hear anything mm -hmm. nice in that. Yeah. So Joe down the rabbit hole also wants to know what happened immediately after you won. Like Tyra announces you the winner, you do the final interview, and cameras go off. What is that whole process like? Uh, right after I won, I did the shoot immediately in the judging panel <laughs> with Tyra, and then Tyra went off. I think she had to she had to go fly somewhere. I went home. I went to the hotel because we moved out of the hostel. We were at a hotel after, mm -hmm. after I won, and I slept like 17 hours, and I cried myself to sleep. Aww. I was so grateful. Yeah, I knew that like 
The moment before it flashed on the screen that I won, because I really had no idea Melrose put up a really good fight and you never know in that situation. And I'm humble to that point where I'm like, I just never expect things are going to be given to me, you know? And when I was like, in my head, I'm like, is this, if I don't win, like, I'm not going back to Fargo. I'm going to have to like, I don't know, like, you know, it was just that <laughs> important to me. It was just so important to me the whole time. Yeah. Um, I went home and I cried. I went to the hotel room and I cried and I prayed. I was on my knees. I was so thankful and I slept. I was so tired and I just knew that my life was going to change and I was so grateful. I just, I cried and I prayed and, and I slept and I probably had a hamburger somewhere in there. I was hungry. Oh, that Del Taco in the limo all the time. Um, they had Del Taco back then? No, it was um, Baja Fresh. Oh, that's what it was. Baja Fresh. And I in a limo, and I put it in the center. We're like, oh. mm -hmm. going bananas. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know what? And I probably should start asking this question to all the girls who are interviewed. What between what months did you actually film the show? I um, no um, um, uh, I kind of remember. And we were done in July. I was. Was it July? Yeah, I was done in July. It was only two months. Three months for me. I was three months. I was three months too. Then yeah. you were three months. Yeah, yeah. it's three months. July, August, September. Wait, what? how you go backwards in July? July, June, <laughs> January. January. <laughs> 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 Mario, <it's July. laughs> you remember that? Mm -hmm. Um, we we. What the fuck? Three months. Three months. I think we're done in July. June ish. <laughs> July. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It was such we, a, we were we were like no news, no music, no TV. We had no idea what day it was. You know, we were just in a bubble. Mm -hmm. Can I say something? Yes. Um, we do. We we our vibe is different, and we want to say tomorrow yes. we don't. There's no week. Yeah, we would like the, to say the vibe no changed beef. after this whole Molly thing. We, this there's, is no beef. there's no beef. There's no beef. There's no beef. There's no beef. It's all good. There's literally no beef. It's just like there's no beef because it like I just don't like the feeling yeah, in the no, room. Like no I need beef. some. I have sage over there, but we'll do that later. No do beef. you want to go get it? I'm so sorry if if I did something wrong. No, I'm so no, sorry. no, no, no. <laughs> We're just no. It's just like I'm um, just not like that. But, but I have but to stand up are, for myself. Yeah, but we are like that. So they yeah. were like, wait a minute, we were like that. But yeah. But then we have to calm down and not be like that no more. So no, we're not, not like, like that. that I'm going to be like that if I need to be. But I just, yeah, but we're just, not like we that. don't need to be. I just, we we, I just want to like address that. that. No, I will be. We'll be like, like that. But it's just like, I just want to address that. Like, like that. it's all good. Yeah. Everybody was hitting me up. I had to be blocking people because they were saying such crazy things. And it just didn't need to be said. Yeah. You don't know somebody, don't talk about them. That's it. And so there's no beef. It's all good. But I remember you, Molly. Yeah. Was like, oh my God, whoever she is, she's beautiful. I remember saying that. <laughs> I was stoked. I looked at her stuff. She's like, she's starting her own agency. I'm like, that's great. Why are we doing this anyway? But I remember saying, like, oh my God, she's so beautiful. <laughs> so we, yeah, let's bring it up back to that. <laughs> no, listen. No, listen. No, I was smiling because I actually don't have any more questions. <laughs> I, asked oh. questions. I asked all my questions. I was right. going to say, Carrie D, is there anything that you want to add? to the discussion about your time on Top Model. I feel like we covered everything. Um, I wanted to say thank you for everyone that continues to support and send love and yeah. send messages. And for you, all, like seriously, for y'all for just like doing this so we can all connect again. This is good. Yeah, like I didn't want, like I just, I am so grateful that you guys are still passionate about it. Um, Cause there's this thing within me that I'm I can get hard on myself where I can accomplish something, but then if I'm not, I put myself on these standards and I'm always trying to climb and coming back to this today and preparing for it like yesterday yeah. was so nostalgic yeah. and like just grateful and be like, I remember that girl who like was just not going to go back to the, to the way she lived and just being able to talk to you. And my experience was really great. There's nothing I would have changed. All my friends I made out of it. I'm so grateful from a girl that has psoriasis where people said you'd never model and I became a role model for it and all those people who have it. Thank you. Like, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. And I love that you guys are supporting me as I'm doing photography as well. Photography is very important. As you know, we're all going through a pandemic and the mental health has been really hard and this was something I could do 
to be a part of people, be with them, create art, because modeling shut down, acting shut down, music shut down. So it's just something I got to create. And, to, and I know you guys follow me because I'm a model. The way that you guys are supporting me because I'm photographing is really important to me because it's scary to start something new. It's scary to be a one woman business. And without your support, it just, I just thank you for being with me as I try something else, truly. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you one more question? Yeah. What was your favorite photo shoot? Out of all of them? Yeah. Brad and Angelina. <laughs> I love being Angelina. That was fun. I really? Like the one, but like, I love being Angelina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Uh -huh. How about you? Um, probably the bull one and the cover girl one. Oh, you did so good at the bull one. I did not like that bull one. Yeah, oh, like that is oh yeah, legendary. Yeah. That bull, that bull photo, photo shoot is legend, 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 <laughs> legendary. It will Only live because on. again, like I'm, you were just like popping. By that point, you were like, Shh, I'm going up and up and up and up. It was for me. I didn't. It was top model was hard for me, and then we're not gonna talk about me at all. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, it was hard for me because I. It didn't logically make sense. Like I didn't understand why there were so many traps set. I didn't understand why we were set up to fail. I didn't anticipate that. Mm -hmm. And so that was a lot for me to think through. So I'm thinking through like why are we in these situations to, you know, kind mm -hmm. of be embarrassed or mm -hmm. fail or do something mm -hmm. that or die. Happen, or die. Mm -hmm. And it was hard for me to like conceptualize because I am a logical person and I think my way through. She is everything. very logical. So um when the bullshit came, it's like there again. There were mm -hmm. no like traps set up, so then mm -hmm. I can be free. And so, like I, I, I didn't feel like I was it. That's that's just why I yeah, did well, yeah, yeah, yeah. because I wasn't being set up right. And so I wasn't thinking like right. I'm in cold pool. Like wait a minute, am I gonna yeah? Die from the this cold is pool? like your like, space. Yeah, I'm just in a space. And mm -hmm. We were actually modeling and, like we were supposed to be. And doing. Nigel was there. That made a, a lot of help too. Yeah. 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 No, I agree. I yeah. agree. Yeah. And then Cover Girl was just like you get to sit there. Cover Girl was fun. When you picked me for a Cover Girl challenge win, during I think it was the Queen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you picked me mm -hmm. to be that we did our own thing for Seventeen with Cover Girl. Oh yeah, with the little white shorts mm -hmm. and stuff. I thought that was, that was cute. cute. I never saw those pictures though. I did. They were on the CW website. Okay. They were just okay. We did better ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, I have like three more questions before I ask you my final, final okay. question. Is that okay? Mm -hmm, of course. They're going to be real quick. Okay, the first one is, everybody's telling me to ask you about Nigel Barker. When I talked to Nigel Barker a couple of months ago, and we talked about the whole Carrie D. Stick thing, he said <laughs> the way it appeared on the show wasn't how it really appeared in real life. What's your take on it? So the bull was a baby bull. was a baby bull. And it wasn't really aggressive. It uh, wasn't even there. It, it, like, the thing is, is that they ran it a lot, so it was tired. And it was a baby bull. But the, the, the outtakes that you see is it being really aggressive. That was before we were even on set. That was B-roll that you that saw. That was B-roll. That's mm -hmm. something that they take way before we're on set. Mm -hmm. And then they add it to make it look like it's an aggressive bull. So the bull was docile. There wasn't a lot of drama. Everybody, the, it was the final four. Yeah. So we were all getting along just fine. We we're all just so majorly focused. There wasn't drama, you know. Although Melrose had a, a, a personality that was very strong, but she wasn't drama. She wasn't like well, not to her face. Like she didn't stir things up, you know. So it was just boring day for production. And when I said something, I said, "Did you take the stick out of your ass from last panel?" Because he was because he went in on you. He went panel. in on me, and I was like, "Was that the hypothermia one or something?" Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, no, 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 no. Yes, he I went think... in on her for having hypothermia. And you should have well, did. Everybody did. No, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, because they'll they'll rip me to shreds. Oh, I'll just I don't know. Just say, hey, hey, my beauties. The the hypothermia photo shoot came directly after the bull photo shoot. What came before oh. the bull photo shoot was the CoverGirl commercial when Jada got sent home. That's right. Oh, oh, oh I want to oh, talk about that really quick. Yeah, yeah, let, keep I got right. time. Okay, thank you for telling me that. Okay. Um, that that commercial. Oh, Joe's here. That's what I said. Uh -huh. Raji, 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 Raji. Raji. Why does everybody call her Raji Anchi? She, she was, was Raji. 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 Gotcha. Um, okay, so the the whole commercial, the one that they aired of mine was my rehearsal take. So everybody had like about three takes. But the rehearsal take is where they're telling you where to stop. And so I was just like, oh, okay, stop here. And they're like, just kind of say whatever's on the cue card. And I was like, da, 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 da. And then they're like, okay, stop here. Here's your second, you know, mark. And I'm like, okay. But that's the one they showed. And I was, remember me and Pat would be like, you guys, this isn't right. This is my rehearsal take. This isn't one of the real takes. And they're like, that's not true. I'm like, I'm not talking anymore until you talk to producers. That's 
absolutely true. So they made that CoverGirl commercial look like I was like crazy. And so then when I saw Nigel um, with the stick, I go, is that the stick you took out of your ass from last panel? And he goes, no, it's the stick I took out of your ass so you can, so you can perform. And we laughed. And then, and then they started, when then we saw everybody maneuver. And then, and then the machine yeah. came and the bull is like, and so they're like, <laughs> like well, what did you talk to Nigel about when you said, yeah, mm -hmm. and he was like, oh, they're going to make that a big thing. They were like, hello, let's, let's blow up yeah. the situation with Carrie and Nigel. She said something, blow it up. It's a thing. It's a big deal. It's Copy a big that. Deal. Copy that. Got it. Um, I was offended when Carrie, that's a professional when Carrie I, told me to take my stick. It was like, oh no. my God, hang on. You guys got, you guys got to see something I found. Okay, you stay. You Just find? one, one second, find? one second, you guys. One second. I got to show you. I found it. I found it. And it's for real. Oh gosh, that's funny though. Oh, uh, that was a good point because the bullfight that day, it was a boring day. There was no drama. There was nothing day. going on. There was nothing going on. We were tired. Like, it was, the sun was out. It was chill. It was chill. We were in yeah, Spain. We were in Spain. So there was no drama. And All right. Did so here's the thing I found. The original apology letter. <laughs> it is the original <laughs> apology letter that I read in <laughs> Canada. I swear to God. You still have I, it? I didn't even know I had it. Yeah. I found it. And I, cause I was and literally, back, yeah. because you're so wrapped up by that time. By that time when Nigel was like, you shouldn't have said that. It got my head that whole day. They made it a big deal. I didn't comment. I didn't comment much on it. I just said like, so I just took my silence and I wrote a note. I was like, I'll just tell him. Cause I was like, shit, if my joke, cause I do say crude jokes and say things yeah. that I just, they make you feel like you know? it's the end of the world. And it was, and for me, for me to go home yes. was the end of the world. Ye yes. I was so obsessed with winning. Like, it and was just the only way my life was going to be safe, and it did save me. Mm -hmm. And I will say, like, the the um, vibe the of people are saying, read it, Carrie. Okay. Oh, she's going to read it. Okay, should we, okay, you want to be, be Nigel? You want to reenact this? <laughs> well, read, go, read, go, read, read all the judges. Read it, read it, read it. I'll reenact it. But, but first, my hair was up. I was wearing your tank top, and I had, I had my OGTs. All right. <laughs> OGTs. I want to take the time out to say thank you. I can never show my gratitude enough. Tyra, your heart allowed me to make my dreams come true. Oh, girl, I did not want to go home. I know if I might. <laughs> we said whatever. I know it might not mean much coming from me, but I am so proud of you. You're an amazing and giving woman. And I still back that up. Your accomplishments in your life are inspiring. I back that up. Twiggy, Miss J, Tyra, Nigel, thank you for believing in me. Okay. I am five out of 90,000 girls that made it to this far. I'm sorry if I disappointed or disrespected you. I'm not perfect, but with your faith and belief in me, I will always appreciate it. It's been a short time, but you feel like my mini multicultured family. It's true. <laughs> that was true that we were like all oh, this a dysfunctional fucking family. We couldn't talk to anybody. Y'all, I would have done anything. I would have. We would say whatever not to give up. I meant that though. Yeah, I know. It's only I people. Did. My multicultural <laughs> family. <laughs> I'm from Fargo. Okay, we had like one Jewish person. Okay, <laughs> and I dated all three of the dark, beautiful men. There was only three of them. There, two of them are brothers. Continue, it's true. Of course. Anyway. No, that's a real question. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was into the 17th thing. Okay. <laughs> I hope, um, I know what it is, but I hope I am, you will allow me to carry on. I spelled carry wrong, which is ironic because my name is Carrie. Um, <laughs> there's nothing more than I want than to respect all of you and ATM. Scene. Scene. <laughs> Did you mean it? Hell yeah. yeah okay, well, good. I was warped. I mean, I was like, I am not going home. Not going home. They made us feel like this was our world. We've been sequestered for two, three months. No mm -hmm. phone, no, no TV, no, no radio, no nothing, nothing, no outside world. We were in this bitch. Always we right. Always <laughs> right. So if, so if you get voted off, it feels like you die. Because it feels you're like, like what uh -huh. they, they make it, you know, your, and your prizes are, and it's so important. It's yeah. the only piece of food in the whole fucking jungle. Is and you're running. Mm -hmm, and you're running for it. And you're, yeah. ah, and you're hungry. And you, yes. and you know your life won't be. You know, and that's what's great about competition. That's what's Who is great. that? Asha! Asha! Hi! I've been running around all day. Right? So excuse Asha! the mess. Asha! Asha! 
I just got my nails done. Oh my god! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hi. Hi. Give me a second. Here we go. I'm literally driving. Hello to Miami traffic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Rachi. You look so beautiful. Rachi. Thank you. Oh my god. You guys are hilarious. Tell me more of the stories. I need to know. I'm listening to you. I mean, I mean, this is, I mean, that was, that was it. The apology letter, you weren't there for it. That, that was it? That was, I mean. Oh, come on. I know you have more juicy. You, you know what? It's, it's, it's a great thing that Ancho is here because my next question for you, Carrie D, I actually was going to bring up Miss Ancho and I was going to ask you that in my chat with Ancho, she talked about her theory about them pre-planning the girls being sent home due to Ancho, you said something about the plane tickets and all that other stuff already being like mm -hmm. determined with data. Mm -hmm. Charity, do you know anything about this? And what are your thoughts on that? And Ancho, if I didn't explain it the right way, you're here to do it a little bit better than no I No problem, hear. no problem. Uh -huh. So basically what he's talking about is, remember when we had our itineraries? Uh -huh. And our dates were different. So the girls who got sent before were different dates. So the girls who got sent before were dates before. Like me and Brooke had the same week. And the girls who stayed had different dates. But everybody had to get, because I remember Meg and AJ having a really hard time because after they got casted off, they rooming together in a hotel room in Hollywood and like couldn't leave. They went really, they, they went to a really deep depression. So, so maybe me, me, and Brooke were, me and Brooke were in the same room and we didn't leave until like, until I got eliminated and I left the day after. We both left the day after. That's crazy. But they they held always... AJ and, and they held AJ and Meg for like, I think like yeah. a week or so. So basically, basically the theory was that everybody had different dates. Every, so it wasn't, you know how, so basically what they were saying. It came out to be, and me, AJ, and Meg agreed to this too. Remember, we remember discussing it in the room, is that they already had, like, they knew the girls that were going to stay and they were going to go to Spain. Mm. Because if it was an equal competition, if it was an even competition, they would have kept all the girls for the two months. Everybody would have had the same return date, but they didn't. I don't know about all of that. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that's um, yeah. news to us. Well, maybe they. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they like looked at all, all of us at the very beginning. It's like, okay, these are the people we're gonna because people were climbing like you. Well, climbed, they, like... they 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 did do a psychological test on us and they kept us out of <laughs> from the other girls. Yeah. You know, they're are you okay? Yeah. That was the same. Yeah. Are you okay? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That that type of thing. Ah. Uh... I will say that I wouldn't put them it past them to to do that though because it did seem like I don't know I could see who was getting voted off and who wasn't I kind of me because I was just I was I was observing the first You're, half yeah I meaning I'm not saying that it wasn't that but no there I was that was something else to look at you and, uh, and right. I didn't put it past them either after I'm seeing what right. Meg yeah, is here yeah. too. Can Meg join us? Meg is there? Well, let's make it a party then. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Meg? 2005. Okay. Meg. Meg. And I'm sorry okay. I couldn't make it, but I was leaving. I know, I'm leaving I was for her. Them I wanted you to plug I know. in. I know. I know. I know. She's, she's got to be the one that gets all the houses, like all the husbands and stuff for us. And the alimony oh, The yeah. daddy did. You you're that girl for us. What do you mean? You just, you just got to get married a few times, Wait, honey. Get the house in the Bahamas. Get the house in... Oh! Where you want to go? Man, wherever. Ancho knows how to pull them. She yeah, I know. You know how to pull them. <laughs> you got that Miami swag. Let's go. Okay. Do it for us. She's, she's on the highway, so she's frozen right now. No, that's but, crazy. But I wouldn't put it past them to, like, give people different dates of going home and this and that. Because, I mean, it's calculated. They can't take any risk. Yeah. It's like, you know, okay... Every, and everything time, for money at the end of the day it was a tv show yeah yeah it's politics it's politics well, i agree we didn't know about it because i guess we were supposed to stay on but everybody else i don't know yeah because we were comparing our itineraries we were comparing the paper remember the like amount of paperwork they gave us so yeah. we were just comparing our itineraries together I was like that's weird wow mm. so. Television being tricky, you wouldn't put it past anything. But 
you know, it is what it is. I don't mind. I wasn't, I wasn't completely broken being eliminated seven. I wasn't. No, you was in there. You had a fabulous, yeah. a fabulous line. I mean, Did you want to win, Acho? Did I want to win? I'll be honest. I went with the flow of things. Mm -hmm. I went with the flow of things. Like, if it was meant to be, it's going to be. Um, did I have that? I guess because I was already modeling, it wasn't really like, oh, my God. I wasn't really like, I really, it, it was surreal. I couldn't believe I was there. Yeah. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. So when the thing started happening, it was happening so quickly that I didn't really have that time to process it mm -hmm. and to actually have my head in the game. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that oh, damn. Meg! Let's see her. Uh oh. She'd be driving on the highway doing this. She's down in Miami. Yeah, she's in Miami in her car. I'd be like, don't text me, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh Angel. Okay. Is she, she going to Ron Ranji! Don't let go. I'm Raj. not letting go. Raj. I'm not. Come on, oh, we all no. have to make things yeah. together on the show. On. I'm hanging on. You're crazy. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Frozen? Yes, we buying you Tyra. Leave our Wi Fi alone, please. Oh, she looks cute. You look like a. You look so she looks cute. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute, Frozen. Even Frozen and Pixelated. She's beautiful. You're a mess. You're a mess. All right, I'm going to hang up. I'm going to hang up. Okay, okay, love you. Love Thank you, Rachel. Love you guys. Thank you for having love me. You, I you. miss you, girls. You guys look beautiful. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. We miss you. We'll see you I soon. You. Oh, she makes a cute sound. That was so amazing. That was so cute. Yeah. Yeah. So we appreciate that. I was trying to get Megan here. Meg, are you still here? Meg, so we find you, Mel. <laughs> Who keeps saying that? Y'all are crazy. <laughs> well, the, the the joke started off by me saying, like, it, early on when I, when I started this, anytime the Wi-Fi would go bad, I just started making it a joke, like, oh, Tyra, we bind you, girl, because I just know it's you that's coming we up. Oh, yeah. this, we bind you. So <laughs> it just it just caught it. on. Like, so anytime something bad goes on, they always say we bind you, Tyra. But nowadays, they, the they, they switch the names <laughs> out. They These switch the names out. These guys are hilarious. Because <laughs> when Meryl came in, Ancho started getting fucked up, so we buy you Melrose. I get it. I get it. I get it. You guys are really great. I get it. You guys are really great. Yes, yes, yes. You guys are really great. <laughs> well, Carrie D, my final question for every girl is if you were standing before Tyra Banks right now, what would you say? Carrie D, I never knew you had freckles. I do. I would say, I would say, I would say, mm -hmm. thank you. And can we be friends, please? Really? Yes. You really? You want to be friends? No, Hell no. yeah, I want to be friends. I, want, I, oh, I the only reason. Look, anger, anger comes from pain, and I felt rejected that she wasn't my friend after. That's just the truth. Wow. Okay. So I'm not angry. I'm, I'm grateful, and like, love you. I thank you. We've all learned as women going through the last so many years and you as a catalyst in television and me doing my thing. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Let's hang out. <laughs> or, I don't want to hang out. Or just unblock me so I can like get awkward in your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> I am Congratulations so on your baby. Congratulations. Let me show and you. And the ice cream. The ice cream is pretty good. No, you the ice cream is pretty that's good. Real. That's, that's real. That's real. That's real. Mm -hmm. That's all no. it is. Carrie, I, I really do appreciate your transparency with that. Like, that's that's big woman, big pussy to admit, you know, that was fuel, fueling you, and that's big. Like, everybody in the classroom, that was good. Oh. That's, we love to see those things. We love to see these things. You're so sweet. No, it's, like, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. She this was too mean to me for me to... She was too mean. She was too mean to me. <laughs> because she saw so much of... She was her and you. You did it in the back like, no, fuck She was too man. mean to me. She was... No, I... She's like, you don't need to be friends. I'm good. I had the longest, worst panel talking to out of everybody every single fucking time. Okay, I agree. And she sits back. Listen. 
This has been the I most have back for anybody. exhilarating chat I think I have ever had. <laughs> I am grateful to the powers that be, yes. to the candles that burn, to the knees that pray, to the mouths that talk for blessing me and all of us with this A-N-T-M, A-N-T-M experience. Eugenia, thank you so much for taking time to come over here and pop in and gag and goop me thank like that. You. I did not expect that. Anshul, thank you so much for popping in and, 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 and placing your life in danger while driving just to come in and talk to us. We appreciate you Meg, so we much. You. Meg, we love you. Meg, thank you so much. I tried to get you on here. I, I, really, I really did. But Meg, thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone out there watching. And Carrie D, thank you so much. Yes. Thank, thank you, you so much. You. Thank you. We really love you. Yeah. First of all, the planning and the skits and all of that stuff. Thank you so much for putting something into this. Like, thank you. Like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. You're always saying very nice things to me in my DMs. So, like, I am all you, emotional you on you and your DMs. And yes, yes, you're just you deserve it, honey. You work really hard, and we pre I appreciate you. Yeah. She appreciates you. We do. I hope we I can do. come to Mexico still. I hope my ticket did not <laughs> get revoked. No. No. We gonna talk. No. Oh no, but this this has been great. Thank y'all so much. I actually my my phone is going on. They're like, bitch, get off live right now because you need to get in makeup. So <laughs> okay. no, 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 fine. No, no, fine. Children. I love you guys. Thank you so much for for tuning in and thank you, Oliver. Thank you. I will say She I, will. Oh, I didn't bring it. You're crazy. <laughs> say it. No, I like Look at this face. <laughs> <laughs> um everybody i launched my skincare line faded skincare it is a yeah i don't have it because i was trying to hurry up and get dressed and bring her but um my skincare line is faded skincare it is anti-aging <laughs> and it feels so good oh uh, thank you and it's a skin oil with cbd and tamanu oil so it's anti-aging it keeps your skin sucking. clearly it's anti-aging oh. <laughs> i've been using it for five years and i decided to bring it on the market so um support black women's business hello the, the people can get it now yeah www.fadedskincare.com mm -hmm. and it's on my id as well fadedskincare.com buy luminescence yes Woo! that's right that's the secret i want some i'm gonna send you some then what you talking about it's easy mm, thank you. Ah! okay <laughs> and carrie hey. listen if you ever want to protect your horcruxes, feel free to send me your nose. Uh -huh. Should I be putting that shit on eBay? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. I will. Yeah. I, I will. If yeah. I when I go, I will always be in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> An elephant never forgets. <laughs> An elephant never forgets. <laughs> and with yeah. that, y'all, everyone send hugs kisses all the positive smiley chemically sugary goodness things to carrie d and eugenia from gift for um, giving us a epic this is epic when i type epic in the thing this has been <laughs> epic the most epic a and of live we have ever done this is gonna be hard to this top. Is awesome mm -hmm. you guys thank you <laughs> thank you i'm smizing bye okay bye y'all bye, bye. 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 <laughs> we got through it we got through it thank you to everyone who watched listen this video will be uploaded on my youtube channel the oliver twix youtube channel that's t-w-i-x-t on youtube where you can watch this chat i think carrie d's number 83 and there's a total of 82 chats so you can watch this chat and 82 other chats i've done with contestants judges Get into the things that are things, guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support, your time. I'm going to fix that faux video, so it should be premiering at 5 o'clock. And until then, be sure to pray and mother-loving Kegel. Bye, guys.